<laughs> uh, happy Halloween, everyone. Uh, my name is Garrick, and tonight we're sampling Sea Evil uh, by Matt Brinkman, Charlie Fogel, Jochen Hartman, and Nate Hayden uh, of Emperors of Eternal Evil. Uh, joining me tonight, we have Badger. Hello. Mango. Hey there. MJ. Arr. Pat. <laughs> Hello. And Lily. Howdy. Um, all right, Sandy, check. We're, we are unmuted. Uh, sea Evil is a, a thematic experience game that, that almost borders uh, an RPG, and it's very spoopy and Halloween-y, so I thought it would be fun to finally play it. Uh, and, Doesn't it take place on Halloween? Uh, yeah, I think it does lore-wise take place on Halloween. I didn't actually, I, spoiler alert, I didn't actually read the lore comic. Like a terrible person. What? I know that has this beautiful. I, don't I thought this happening. was going to be like it. Uh, you're going to be like story time. It, I, my immersion. Uh, we're it's something about a sea witch. This used to be a desert, and like she cursed us, and now it's an ocean, and we're trying to make it to a lighthouse or kill her, uh, and she's trying oh. to kill all of us. That's what I know. You can't kill me. <laughs> okay. I can get into what that. That's enough of a hook. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are actually the the game goals. Like we, the this is a team game or one versus many game where one side plays evil and the rest of us are whalers. Uh, the whalers win if any of them make it to the lighthouse or kill the the sea witch, and the sea witch wins. Evil side wins if they kill all the whalers. So I don't like the implication that whalers are just not evil. It, Some whalers are evil. That that is the implication, but it doesn't have to be the case. <laughs> um. So yeah, the let's... you can just assume it's degrees of evil. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um. So let me give a quick rules overview. Uh, it's gonna feel like I didn't teach you enough, and that's okay because the game's really, really simple at its core. It, it's got lots of like tables and rules for like little specific things, but the core of the game is really, really simple. So uh, every round, we're going to have five phases, basically. First, we're going to check if we're going to have an event. We'll just roll a d6, and on a five or a six, we will have an event. So we will roll two d6, and we will compare it to this d66 event table and resolve whatever it says. After doing that or not doing that, uh, we check if we have any holes in the boat. And if so, we will add water or flood tokens for each hole. Then uh, we have the whaler phase, where as a team, we will activate each of our characters in any order or simultaneously. It's pretty loosey-goosey. Uh, and every character is going to get to move and perform one action, with that action being performed before or after or during the move. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and yeah, after that's all done, we will move the ship, which is a little sequence I'll explain in a minute. Uh, and after that, the evil player will take their turn, where they will move all of the evil characters and play more and stuff like that. It's, uh, it's really not bad. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a, that's selling it right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's selling it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the, let me talk about ship movement because that's going to be sort of core to what the whaler team wants to be doing. Uh, basically our distance from the lighthouse is tracked on these two, uh, uh, tracks here. And our goal is to get both of the ship markers onto the two lighthouse spaces. So you'll notice that on the north to south track, it starts as far away as possible. And on the east to west track, it starts on the lighthouse space. Okay, so we are south of this lighthouse. We are directly we south of this lighthouse. We and have to hit it on the mark east-west wise. We have to hit it on the mark north-south and east-west. And we're going to do that by uh, manning the masts, manning the sails, uh, manning the steering wheel, and we'll... I believe that's called the helm. Uh, sure. <laughs> it is called the helm, yeah. That's, that's true. I don't know these things. Uh, we're going to compare that with the wind, and that's going to determine our distance and direction of movement. And we will uh, divide that evenly across the north-south track and the east-west track, favoring the north-south track. Uh, so if we had, say, like a three movement with uh, like due 
east, we would do two movement north and one movement east. So we would move this here and this there. Ooh. Does that all I like make... This. I, like, I like this already. <laughs> Does that all make some sense? Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the actual math of that real quick. Uh, an action that we can take during the wheeler phase is to man the mast or the wheel. Uh, the masts are... Oops, move these people out of the way. In the middle of the ship, there's an A, B, and C, which I just marked in the opposite order because I am not good at this. Uh, we can man them if we are on the space or adjacent to the space. Uh, a mast can have up to two characters man it, and if two characters man it, then it will add plus one, plus two to our movement. I already forgotten the math because I'm terrible at this. MJ, do you remember the number? Two? Wait, to man it? It's it's two to man and it provides one speed, right? Yeah, one speed. Yes. Yeah. So if two characters but man a mast, it adds one speed. If one character mans the wheel, it adds one speed. So we can have a total of four from all of that. Right, yeah, because they, they add up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, like I said, we'll compare it to the wind, which can be... Uh, we. This is our direction. This is the wind on this track here and we uh will compare where the wind is to see how much it modifies our movement strength uh so in the current position you can see it would be a plus one because it's moving behind us and it's moving in that direction uh so we would have five total movement and because it's blowing this way we would split that three north and two to the west i believe does that sound right to you, MJ? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Also, um, more than two characters on a mass doesn't actually make it go faster. All you yeah. need is two, yeah. just to point that out. Um, so yeah, that is the basics of ship movement. That's what we as the whalers want to be doing. Uh, but there might be monsters attacking us or holes in the ship that we need to fix or damaged masts that we need to fix. Uh, all sorts of things that will get in our way and uh, make things difficult. So we have a whole bunch of other actions that we can take as necessary. Um, as I said, we'll take them during the whaler actions phase. Uh, we cannot summon one evil. That's an evil only action, but we can do, I think, everything else here. Man the mast, fix the ship boat, toss rope, gain composure, all that stuff. Um, I don't know if I need to strictly go through all of it right now, but uh, a lot of it is going to resolve with a simple dice check system, uh, which is very RPG-like. We will roll a d6, add any relevant modifiers, and that is either compared to a table, or in the case of combat, it's compared against your opponent, uh, with the difference being the damage dealt, uh, and the loser taking the damage, the winner taking none. Uh, which leads me to the characters. They have stats, three of them, speed, strength, and will. In the case of the good whalers, the will to live. In the case of the evil characters, the will to kill. Uh, speed is how much a character can move on their turn. Strength is their attack modifier, basically. Uh, not all the time. Weapons will state if they can be used or if you do other things that need to check it, it might gain the strength. Uh, and will can be spent to re-roll dice when you're performing a check. Uh, I think universally you can do one re-roll per, per thing. The I cook know having the lowest will to live makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked in kitchens. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Um, when a character takes damage, <laughs> they will indicate as such by ticking down uh, any of their stats. And a character will potentially die when all of their stats reach zero. Uh, I say potentially because they don't automatically die. What we'll do is we will draw a card from the kill deck. And if the symbols on it match the method of, of attempted murder or death, 
uh, then is a successful kill and the character is just out of the game. If it is not, the character's stats are re, uh, refreshed back to what they were before that you know, attack or, or challenge or whatever. Uh, they gain an extra will to live and they just live another day. All right. Yeah. Kill cards are pretty cool. Kill but, cards are pretty um, cool. They are graphic. <laughs> they are very graphic. Yeah, this, you have a uh, content warning ahead of this. Gary? Yeah, I was about to say this maybe this stream needs a content warning. This is uh, this is a very graphic, very um, not safe for work game. So yeah, no no children. We will <laughs> potentially have nautical necromancy heroic logic. There is literally really? there is literally a mini black wizard. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, okay, okay, where was Rum. I? Did you have something to say, MJ? I just said rum. Oh, rum. <laughs> um, I should maybe mention that as a team, we have these once a game abilities. Uh, Evil also has their own counterparts. We can use each of these as a team once per game. Uh, and Lily, being evil, can use each of these once per game. Uh, there's plus five adrenaline, which just can be divided. It's it. it adds to the speed or strength stats in any combination among any combination of characters a total of five across all of that pray to neptune lets us change the wind direction uh to an adjacent dire direction uh two weapon attack just lets you dual wield for one attack lets you use both weapons in in your hands uh or you can dodge attack which lets you to miss and uh, like dodge and attack basically Pretty I'm level three, so I have the dual wielding feet, so I can actually always do that. Uh, let's see. You <laughs> do not have Mr. Chandu, so that is not true. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> My mother told me stories. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I have the, so I guess I have the Jebs then. That's fun. Yeah, you have the Jebs. Big and little Jeb. <laughs> it's Lil Jeb. Yes. Little Jeb sorry, cannot sorry, be grabbed. Sorry to sidetrack you there. Please continue. All right, I'm. This is. It's easy to get sidetracked here. Uh, characters can hold items, as you can see. I think they can hold three, if I recall. Um, if they ever drop an item and don't pick it back up, it just sort of gets lost in the chaos. Uh, if they ever lose their harpoon, the the rule book makes a point that historically fishing ships had like two hundred harpoons on them at any time so they, they, they if you ever need to pick up a harpoon there's just one there you just you get to do it uh and likewise there's so much rope just laying around that if you ever need rope uh you just have access to a rope just while you're on this ship i should say but otherwise we have our starting items as the characters indicate uh let me talk about the anatomy of a an item card real quick they have a type of damage, which is that little symbol in the corner, and that just corresponds to the kill cards. Okay. Uh, and then they have these weird hexes that they're showing. Uh, anything that has the two little squares in it is the strength at close combat. And then every hex next to it is the strength at that distance away from the target. Uh, and if there is an asterisk next to the number, that means you will throw the item and lose it after the attack. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. Uh, additionally, if they add the strength modifier as part of the attack, they will say so at the bottom of the weapon. Uh, and or if they have any special things, they'll say them at the top. Uh, yeah. It's, it's mostly self-explanatory, or we'll figure it out as we go. Um, what else we got? I don't think we need to talk about all the specific actions beyond that yet. Uh, I'll mention Lily. What she's going to be doing is moving the evil characters, which can start out face down. Uh, and she'll also place one from her hand uh, once per turn and draw an extra chit to her hand to replace it. Uh, we do not start out knowing what they are, as you can see, but we can find out what they are when they come within... Is it five or six hexes of the ship? Six? Six? I think. 
Sounds right. I'm gonna go roll six for the moment. Uh, alternatively, if we have somebody in the mast, uh, mast B in the in the perch, uh, they may spy, uh, spy, use the spyglass and and peer at the 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 counter, and flip it over, basically. And this oh, mass is two hexes tall, like to move up and down from it. It is, and MJ, I'm guessing you're going to correct me on me saying spyglass right there. I'm not going to correct. Well, I was going <laughs> to say it's actually no. <laughs> I was going to say it is within five hexes. Oh, it is within five. Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, and then yes, I should not have said spyglass there. Spyglass is an item that I think allows the the peering from anywhere or something. Oh no, it is. And the perch oh, you can need see anywhere. No. It, yeah, if the spyglass is on top of Mast B specifically, okay, um, then that also is when evil must reveal. Okay, yeah, I got myself mixed up there. Um, when it reveals, does the corresponding like character card come out from my hidden area? Yes, go yes. ahead and pull it out and okay. put it, you know, like up here. Got it. I created this big old table for us to put all the characters on. I appreciate. And and when that happens, Lily, the card that you flip up, it might show you a certain way to place those. Um, yeah, it has the wind revealed on the bottom. Yeah. 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 Um, I should mention uh, I made note of holes and flood tokens. Uh, if the ship gets damaged, it can gain a hole, and each hole is going to add a flood token to the galley. I will drown all of you. <laughs> to the galley each turn. Uh, we can fix the ship to attempt to uh, uh, remove dr uh, flood tokens and close holes. Uh, if we ever place all seven, the ship sinks and we have to flee to our lifeboats or just swim in the ocean and try to make it that way. Uh, and beyond that, I think we maybe should just get into it and I'll Teach stuff as it comes up. Is this, um, would the stack exploder be useful here? Like, are we going to need how big are these stacks of? Uh, oh, get? that's a good point. Actually, there is a stacking limit of two, so I don't know if it's ever strictly necessary. Oh. Uh, I feel like two is probably this, small but... enough that we can get by. No, yeah. If it's only two, then it's definitely not needed. Yeah. Oh, the jebs are already together. Okay. Cool. <laughs> that. I guess. Is, is this a father son duo? Or are they brothers? What's you know, it's here? a mystery. We don't. We don't. It's a great know. question. Okay. You're I mean, I'm going to completely know, unrelated. I'll, you know, I'll reveal my backstory <laughs> through play. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> uh, you also, I, I just want you to to know, Mango, that uh, Jebediah is also on the ship. Yeah, there's a little Jeb, a big Jeb, and a Jebediah. Rela <laughs> relation also unknown. So. Oh uh, well, the, these Jebs are Jebicus. You see. <laughs> oh, ah! I see. I see. Yeah. They're Welsh. <laughs> oh, maybe I should mention there's a harpoon cannon at the front of the ship, and a person up here can can man it. Uh, I did not know that. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's <gasps> totally a harpoon cannon. There is a harpoon cannon. I mean, no, there is no don't harpoon cannon. Really. Don't worry about a harpoon cannon. <laughs> oh, you're going to set that up back there instead? Yes. Um, I don't want to be in the way of a harpoon cannon. All right. Well, I will mention, well, Okay, putting it in front, I'll mention the boat. When the boat moves, it can also ram things, or if something goes off the map, it just disappears. So, like, I don't okay, know. Okay, fine. You do you. Oh, I'll talk about uh, ship movement when we actually move the ship and how that, that works. I'll put it here and just pretend like this is okay. Is that far enough away? I think so. Is it five hexes from Mass B or from the ship? Yeah, I think that's far enough away. I think setup was, like, only six hexes or something. Yeah, I thought so. I don't remember. Yeah, not within six hexes. So seven or more, I'd say. That might need to be one farther away. Sure. All right. Let's, um, does anyone have um, any immediate questions before we get into it? What am I doing? You, you're trying to kill us. Who am I? You're the sea witch. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, I'm just joking. Um, what you got, MJ? What, uh, what really, should really I teach? Quickly, no, just really, really quickly, uh, the, your will to live can be used to re-roll an attack roll. Yes. I don't remember if you said that. 
Uh, I think I mentioned that. What I didn't mention, actually, what you reminded me is you can also alternatively use it to boost your other stats by one point per will you spend. Right. So that's and actually a good point. Natural sixes are really awesome. Natural ones. Oh, yeah. There's a natural one table right here. Yeah. Uh, natural sixes tend to double. The I think, like, in all cases, you just add an extra six when you roll a six, pretty much. Uh... And yeah, ones in combat, they you refer to this table. In other instances, I don't it doesn't always do anything bad. By my recollection. I think so. Alright, let's I guess let's get into it. Yeah. Uh so sequence of play. First thing, we check if there's an event. We roll this. There is no event. Easy peasy. Uh we check for water rising. We have no holes. So no water rises. Uh, whaler actions. We just activate all of our characters in whatever order we feel like. Um, and at the start of the game, we probably want to just like man the ship and and go as fast as we can. I would think. I would think so. Yeah, I got the jebs are on the sails. I think that's like two. We have two on each sail is what we want, right? Yeah. So I feel like each of those yep. characters should just man the masts and and man the the steering wheel. So what do the people below below decks do here? It's, it's a helm. It's a helm. Man the helm. Hey. Thank you. There we go. Can, <laughs> can I mention something really, really, Absolutely. really fast? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. No, it's... It, I, I want to just put this out there. Um, The harpoon cannon. <laughs> the harpoon cannon, I'm quoting from the rules, is available to any humanoid character. Oh. If... I just feel like maybe that should be known. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. Any humanoid character. That is a good point. You I have, have to be some... in front of the cannon to use it. I might have some of those. You might. Um, we wouldn't know. So where do you have to be? Do you have to be where Jebediah is right now? Or uh, I think you, you have, have to be. Or do you have to be. Hex. Okay. You have to be. I think there. Yeah. yeah. I think that one. Okay. So yeah. A, a um, procedural note. If you. Um, on your on your toolbar on the left, I don't know if you have a visible Garrick, but if other people do, if you go to the line, the fourth one down, and you click the first one where it says inches and change it to grid, when you move stuff, it'll show you hexes instead of Ooh. yeah. And yeah. if it so it's yeah, six point one means it's seven. Six point zero means it's six. You know, five point five is six. Gotcha. Yeah. So. Anyway, good to know. That's I think that's the last thing I have to contribute to this discussion. <laughs> what do I want it set on? Grid. Yeah. Set it on grid. Yeah. On edge or center? Um, I don't think it, that's only matters for snapping. Um, okay. Mine's on edge. Okay. Cool. Cool. Learning things. What do the people below decks do? That's a great question. Uh, probably not much. <laughs> they um, um, they uh, oh yeah, that's that's what those little X's are for. Um, so anywhere there's a little X, they can take the gain composure action, uh, and the gain composure action is drinking rum, and I'm trying to find it in the rule book to remember so I don't like miss a sentence or anything. Boop, 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 boop. Where is it? Gain composure. Uh, it lets you gain one point, point of a stat back if you are on that hex as an action. And that they can be gained up to their initial starting number. So you can never exceed your starting value in this way. So that's basically the gain composure action, which is also not useful right now. Um, so I don't know, maybe we could have one of them come up onto the deck uh, in preparation of something, which they can travel between the decks using these hexes. It's a little stairwell or a ladder or something. I'm sure there's a special nautical term for what a stairwell is called on a boat, but I don't know. <laughs> so it. there are two potential stowaways. Potentially. Two. Two potential stowaways, you say. Don't mind me. 
Don't don't mind those neutral characters. It's those, those are surprises. Look don't look behind the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I don't know that there's a whole lot for us to do this turn. I, I think we just roll. We. Uh, let the wind, do we have, let the so wind do we take us where it may. To actually man the helm, or do we just have to stand there and say we're manning the helm? We just stand there and say, as an action, we are manning the the helm or the mast or the sails. Yes. Uh, okay. yep. So the Hamish, judge will be manning the masts. How much the first mate might want to use the spyglass to reveal that yeah, evil yep, counter? I would do that if we want. So, so yeah, you can use the spyglass when you're up at the top of this. Yes. Yes. Up in the perch. Crow's nest. Yes. Exactly. Are we revealing the evil? Would we like to? Happening? Yes. Yeah, uh, I would like to know what we're up against. All right. I'll listen to our captain. Okay. So I just flip it over? Yep. Flip it over and trigger any one revealed stuff. Would you like a shark? Because mm -hmm. you have a shark. I would not like a shark, but we have one. <laughs> Ooh, that's a gnarly looking shark. That is a gnarly looking shark. Shark. It's a very oh, yeah. gnarly shark. <laughs> it's and not it, a land. It's not a land shark. It it's wants not a everyone land shark. to die. I mean, listen. This is the ship Ashara. We are not afraid. All right. I definitely think we should have either Benny or Wong head up to the harpoon cannon uh, in order to deal with that shark. Yeah, somebody should shoot the shark. Maybe not uh, yet, but we should. I think set up to do it in the future. He just wants to be your friend. Then he should stop smiling that, that way. Both of their stats are equally bad, so I don't think it matters really which one does Benny it. Is, Benny is slow. It will take him a while to get there. Why don't we have Wong head up there then? Wong can well, go. I'm clo one. Benny's closer, but... Eh, I'll, I'll, I'm happy with either. I mean, Benny can make it, right? Well, what is it? So it's one to move one here. One there and then one up, I think. Yeah, one to one move up. Forward. Yes, yeah, so neither of them could make it there. And the no. stacking limit, the yeah. stacking limits too, so they can't move straight forward. So they'd have to move to one of these two side spaces. We could actually, or just, or just stay there and then go three around. Well, the... or, or Jebediah. Or, yeah, yeah, we could have somebody move, move. off the mast because you can man yeah. it from or adjacent. Move up. Yeah. Yep. So why don't we have one of either Jebediah or Fiery Path move up a space? Maybe Jebediah. Is there is there do you need a stat to shoot the harpoon cannon better or is that not a relevant thing? Is everyone equally uh, cool shoot since cannon? it doesn't say to use strength, they're all equal. They're just gonna use the strength of the harpoon cannon. Okay, got it. So yeah, who who do we think should move up? Jebediah? Sure. And then Any we'll have more exposed there or yeah. They've oh, Benny is better off here because then he could use either one, right? Either mast if needed. True. True. Okay. And then it's quicker for him to get back down to. There's already something. there's already two on the middle mast, yep. but yeah, I guess it doesn't matter if they can do it adjacent. Yeah, you can man it from adjacent. So. Yeah. All right. Are we pretty happy with all that movement? No. I'm, so. I'm ecstatic. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Why don't we have Wong move here to the center just so he's in a better position to go anywhere? Oh, that's a good call. Uh. Okay. Moving on to ship movement, uh, we have four for manning the three masts plus the steering the helm. Uh, we have the uh, plus one from the wind. Uh, we are move The wind is pushing us uh, westerly. Yeah, so we're going to move a total of five. Going one, two, three, one, two. Right? Yep. Am I doing that wrong? I mean, MJ? that is three and two. I don't know if three and two are correct. I'm just agreeing with you out of habit, I think. <laughs> Let me make sure I'm not doing that wrong. Oh, so maybe the wind adds one on these sides and it adds two on the back? Actually, maybe it doesn't turn us yet. Maybe because maybe we have to turn the ship before it does that. Um, did you roll a d6? Oh, no, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. So you're at the helm, though. Could you turn the helm? Because we know the wind is going this way, right? Yes, so we could do. Could you turn the helm to counteract it to keep us straight? Um, that would be... Uh, 
Is that a separate action from manning the wheel, or can you man the wheel and turn? Do you remember, MJ? That is manning the wheel. I mean, that's steering. It's the same action? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you man a mast, you steer the wheel. Okay. You don't man the wheel. So yeah, um, so if we know the wind's already going that way, would you steer to counteract it? Is that the kind of captain you are, or you you know you let let the wind take you wherever? Whoopsie, drop my rule book oh, on the space. Oh, that bar. would be the captain's action is steering the ship. Yes, Captain Badger, I'm speaking to yes. you. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course we want to steer the ship. So I hit the roll button. Okay, okay. Uh, well, hold on. So I'm correcting myself here. So because we're facing north. We'd get the full movement going north. Uh, yeah, because MJ, I don't think we need to do a, um, a dice roll for just normal movement, right? Yeah. There's, the, um, there's this, this table here. I don't know. Yeah. yeah you're, when so, you... So you're adding the result of a d6 to the to the steering potential. That's only if we're trying to change direction. Oh, but you're not trying to change. That's direction. what I was saying. For if we're not trying ah, to change direction, it. we would actually got just Sorry. we'd apply the plus Love one it. from this to our plus four, uh, and just move five north, right? Because our direction is straight north. Uh, right. Alternatively, if we were to try steering, that could give us that plus three bonus of being, you know, straight with the wind. If we were to successfully move it to here, uh, but we'd then have to split that movement evenly between these two between tracks. The... Yeah. Uh, so the heading of the doing ship doing vector addition yes. determines determines the directions, not the wind. Yes. Just if we're yes. with the wind, yeah, I taught speed. that wrong. Okay. Um, so so we then we're better off just taking our. We would just go straight then. We would go straight. We could go straight five or we could go straight. Straight four many? and west three, I think is what it would be. Okay. So it's, so it's still in our interest to go. To go I think so. Straight. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because we have everyone on the masts, we're getting yeah. some speed. Okay. So we just move five north, and I think that's it. Yep. Just our our total four plus the one of the the wind. We still have a straight heading, so we just move five north, uh, and then that's done. That's ship movement. Uh, now we have to adjust anything in the sea correspondingly. Uh, so for every movement we did, everything in the sea has to move an opposite number of hexes. So you went five down, Lily? Yeah. Okay. Then evil turn. So Lily, you may activate your characters, and at some point in your turn, you must reveal, or sorry, summon one evil. Okay. Um, and when you summon, so... it's going to randomly appear on one of these six bearings. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so for this one, I activate it so it moves? Yep, up to its speed. You can also summon any time during the, during your turn. Yeah. Um, and then... Mm, okay. Oopsie. That's all I wanted to do. Sorry. Uh, I'm also counting. So if I'm in an adjacent hex, can I attack somebody or do I have to be? How does this work exactly? Uh, so you can attack the boat. The okay. boat has a strength of 15 for each of its hexes. Uh, you know, each one has strength of 15 and you could move into a boat space and attack it. Uh, it having a strength of 15 versus the shark's strength of 25. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think you'd be able to reach anybody or anything else right now. Okay, just chip. I think so. All right. I'm going to come right here and bite it. Actually, I'm going to come here and bite it. Makes sense. 
get on the hex. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. All right. So you're performing an attack? Yes. All right. Let me flip that part of the rule book. Uh, attacking. So first you determine the range. Uh, then you will choose the weapons you're attacking with. You will, each side will roll a d6 and add any modifiers. And then you'll check who won and allocate damage. So okay. first. Are you, are, you just shark, are you just sharking up to our boat and just like biting the boat? Yes. Yeah. It's a Love ship, it. not a boat. It is a ship Ooh. and not a boat. This is true. So right. you're attacking the ship in that hex. Uh, yeah. It's close combat. Uh, do. That's a 15 strength. Yeah. The ship. So you are going to roll 1d6, uh, and then the ship. Um, I don't think it needs to roll anything because it's not actually attacking back, right? It does. It does uh, roll a d6. It says. Oh, does it? Mm-hmm. Cool. 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 Twelve nine two. A d6 is rolled, and fifteen strength is added versus a normal combat. Ship is considered a blunt weapon. Sweet. It is only damaged if it must take fifteen or greater damage. No damage below below fifteen is recorded. Okay. Someone on a roll for the ship. Rolling. Thank you. Sweet. I have no idea what this means. What did we roll? A three versus your three? Yep. Okay, so it ends up just being uh, your character's 25 versus our 15, which means there's a difference of 10 in your favor. Um. That's not good. That is not good at all. Uh... The ship is only damaged if it must take 15 or greater damage. No damage below 15 is recorded. Oh, so sweet. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, so there's be a difference of 15? Yeah. Ugh. Okay. This does not feel like it's going to be easy for me. Okay. I mean, you should have hit harder. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand how to hit harder, so that's not really roll, an easy thing to do. Dice. Roll better dice is what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me being a dice is going to always end poorly for me so because when we rolled a three i was like oh that could be bad <laughs> the shark rolled a uh the shark rolled a six minus and so it doesn't get to get it doesn't get to bite through the hole sad okay uh and then i'm gonna go ahead and put this guy here oh wait no i have to roll the die right and that six minus by the way sorry that that was not mechanically related at all i'm just putting it into d6 <laughs> <turn>. <laughs> Um, do I have to roll for these space where it's spawned? Yes. Uh, when you try to summon, you will roll, and awesome. they uh, will be placed according to your roll per the wheel track. So a four is going to put you completely oh. behind us. Uh, and then you can immediately activate that character uh, using its stats. Uh, you may also choose to reveal it at any time and apply any setup that it may have. Nah, I'm just going to start moving it. It reveals when it's within five of the ship. Uh, I think, yeah, was it five? Yeah. Yep. But since we've got a guy up in the mast. Yeah, we could do it as an action anyway. on our turn anyway. Yeah, that doesn't exactly. even come so as an if action. It, if it comes it? within five, oh, it right. automatically reveals? Yes. Yeah. Okay. God dang it. Okay, so that's technically not five. Okay. All right. Oh, is that five? I think that's measuring as 4.8 for me. Uh, I guess I'm just measuring from the wrong place. Okay. Um. I don't know what. It looks like five to me. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, it's six. Is it six? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, is it from this hex right here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. All yeah. right. 
I it's not within it. five though wouldn't it be it's at five like if it, oh it's at five okay yeah it's currently at five um all right um i think this is the one that i'm not actually 100 percent sure what it is based off the art <laughs> so um have a have have this nonsense Oh dear. I'm pretty sure that that's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I see a lot of tentacles. I don't like that. I'm see pretty sure playing with the grid. I'm pretty Someone's sure it's this pulled one. Pulled off the boat. It is indeed. It's one It's one of those. <laughs> it's one it of is the a Kraken. Uh, so so the now head that it's is revealed, placed on the revealed. It's the head of the um, Kraken. Yeah, you put its head on the reveal one. Yep. You already know. Oop. Um, I'm not exactly sure where the tentacles come in, but we will get there. So if you so look, you can stack. Oh, go ahead. If you look up here in the top right, it's going to show mm. you how far away each of the tentacles need to be from the head. So you oh, can go ahead, yeah. So you're going to go ahead and move those mm. correspondingly right now. But they can um, stack. I only want. see. Wait, where's this? I only see one tentacle. The other tentacles right here. Where is it? That's tentacle two. Yes, the other one is the one. The tentacle one is the one you drew from the bag and placed on the map. Oh, I see. It just okay. I see. Okay, that's why I got very confused. Um. Well, actually, if that's the case. And you can stack them. Can I just move him here instead? Because I didn't realize that's how the tentacles worked, and this is much funnier. Sure, that's fine. But I can eat the lifeboats. You can attack the boats. I want to. I want the lifeboats to be gone. You don't need those. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, do they attack separately or... Tentacles can. Each one is fifteen. <laughs> oh I like how the head has thirty strength. I am going to ram. Let's see. Attacking boats. Uh, the strength of a boat is added to a d6 roll as in a normal attack. Any damage done is removed in stats. Uh, yeah. Any damage received must be removed from the boat's strength. Uh, and if a boat's reduced to zero, it's absolutely totaled. So, yeah. Did you want to attack those boats? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll. I don't like this dice roller. Why? It just like it jitters and it makes me feel like it's not actually rolling. <laughs> All right, let me roll. Like that, or it just goes stagnant. That's just it spawning in. Got it. Yeah, I don't like it. Anyway. All right. Uh, so you had a roll of four. We had a roll of one. Excuse me. Uh, you had a strength of 15. Boats are a strength of... Are they anywhere on the map? I'm looking. Are boats indicated somewhere that I'm missing? Hmm. Not seeing anywhere. MJ, do you know? You're uh, asking what? Say it again. Are boats like are their health indicated anywhere? Like how are we supposed to track damage on a boat? Oh, um. What is the boat's strength? It mentions the boats have strength, but what is the boat strength? Right. That's what I was. Wondering. Sorry, you'd be repeating you. <laughs> um, hmm. 
Hmm. I assumed it would be on the map somewhere. Yeah, it's got to be on the map. Not. Is there one of these for the boats somewhere? Mm, there wasn't in the mod. Can we load people in the whaling boats and go kill the Kraken? So the boats, I have the, I have it in the rule book. The boats are each strength 10 and one movement per character that's in them. Each boat may hold four characters. Um, but it. the strength on them is 10. And I guess we'll just mark that however we can? Yeah, there are cards, at least in the book, that you can print out, but I guess that maybe they're not in the mod. Oh. It's a shame. I wish I'd realized that. I would have added them. Uh, okay, let us jury rig something real quick. <laughs> Doop -doop -boo -boo. Drawing, drawing, drawing. Way too big, but that's fine. Uh, how are the boats labeled? Whoopsie. Boats uh, a, B, a, B, C, and, C D. and D. Okay. And then Joseph boat. I don't know what the Joseph boat is. Oh, maybe that's one of the neutrals or something. Joseph does have a boat. I, yeah. All right. Yeah, so just well, yeah. So boat C had a strength of ten. Uh, it rolled a one compared to Lily's nineteen. So that's going to be nineteen versus eleven. It's going to take eight, and it's down to two strength. Wait, can you go over that math again for me? Uh, strength of ten plus one is eleven. You had fifteen plus your roll of four, which is nineteen. So okay. that's eight damage. Brings its strength okay. down to two. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, thank Wait, you. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to. I just trying to figure it out for my own head. Yep. And then, uh, do I need to draw a new token? You do. Um, I mean, it seems like each tentacle <clears throat> should be able to attack. So I feel like you could attack the other one if you wanted oh. to. Yeah, let's do I mean, it. That would make sense to me. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in, it says that tentacles can move. Oh, may stack. Yeah, it doesn't technically tentacles. say they can attack independently, but I, I think the implication is any shit can't yeah no tentacles oh tentacles have a speed of five and they both have a strength of 15 yeah so i mean i think it would be silly if they couldn't attack with i both agree tentacles Boo. what kind of what kind of crappy cracking would that be <laughs> all right so 13 versus your 16 uh boat d is going to take three damage okay. so it has seven strength there we go uh, and you drew one, and now you're all done? Uh, yep, I'm all done. Okay, that's our first round. Uh, second round, we roll a d6 to check for an event. No event. Sort of wish... <laughs> What's up? I sort of wish events just happened. Uh, the rulebook does say if you like events, just do an event every round. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if we wanted to do that for several of our first game. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's um, fair. I think I think it's great fun. <laughs> yeah, maybe if if we don't get one next round, maybe we just start doing them all the time. I don't know. Uh, water rising, nothing happens. So back to whaler actions. Uh, we now have a kraken and a shark to worry about. Yeah, I um, I've got a gun. Like I can hit What's stuff. What's the kraken speed? Five. Five. If we steer, we could pick up speed and run away from it, but... That's true. Uh, and actually, if we turn the ship, it will ram the shark and attack yes. it. Yes. <laughs> so do we want to just, just try turning the boat? <laughs> Sounds good. So if you, if you like, take an action to shoot a gun, for example, 
can you not then man the mast? Uh, you could not. Each character gets one yeah. action. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, but we got two guys to man the mast here, so. Yeah. Right, I was going to say, because, um, so Big Jeb over here, he's got a gun. Big, uh, Jab Jabowski. Big yeah, Jabowski. Wong, get up gun. here. And, um, so he could, he could take a pot shot at one of those things. Perhaps a tentacle, so we don't destroy all of our boats. Do we, uh, do we want to try that? I mean, do, but do we need the speed of Jabowski being on the... I think we'd have to end up moving someone else to that mast. But we have... I mean, Wong is in position. Oh, Mango, what did you do with this grid? Oh, that <laughs> it didn't work down there, did it? It does not work down there. <laughs> um, we can just maybe turn off grid for anyone in there. I don't know. Uh, we could always move Wong up to man that mast and have Big Jeb go after one of the tentacles. Yeah, because he's got a gun, and those can pack a punch. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think that might be a good idea. So he can move and then shoot, right? Yes, yeah. You can, you can take your action up. before, after, during your move, whatever makes sense to you. Okay, yeah. So, um, so he has to move to get out of the way. So getting closer, though, does allow for m more power. So if he moves to here... And he can shoot for a 12, right? At close combat with 2d6? Uh, he has to be in the hex to do oh, close in the combat. Hex. Okay. So. You know, he's, I mean, he's been hitting uh, that bottle pretty hard. So. Uh, you want to get close to those tentacles? <laughs> they just want to give you a hug. I guess it's a 12 versus 10, but what the, um, the two dice gives me a better chance to hit or no? Uh, well, okay, so they have a strength of 15. I should mention. Mm -hmm. So they're well, you could. They're inherently stronger than you, uh, and you're using the revolver. Oh, it shoots twice separately. So that maybe just hurts you twice, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess how important are our boats? I mean, <laughs> we, <laughs> we probably don't want to lose them. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that I think said, we win the game if at least one whaler makes it to the lighthouse. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I'd say maybe so boat exactly. maybe that whaler. How many people do we have? We've got ten. Yes, we if have ten. We've got two boats. If we've got two boats, each boat can hold four means, people. Right. That means two people are out. But we're probably going to be down people at that point anyway. We might uh, be down Big Jeb at that point. <laughs> yes. Um, well, faith in your captain. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not opposed to Big Jeb going in and cheering yeah, and the captain, I don't. The, the captain can't leave the boat anyway. So, I, yeah. it, It's maybe better for Big Jeb to try it from range one instead of close combat. You're weaker, but I don't think the tentacle has a, a ranged attack. Mm hmm. So it wouldn't be able to hit back is the key thing. Okay, I like the sound. Of, and that's kind of the point of having a gun in the first place. I, I would agree. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah. So I also think... Stand, stand there and shoot. I also think boat D is a higher priority because I think it maybe still has a chance. I think boat C is a goner. So... Okay. so stand there and shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What strength do they start with? 10? Uh, what do yes. you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The boats. Yes, the boats have strength 10. By default. So, okay, you're doing an attack. Uh, you're going to roll a d6. Oh. That, that uh, one goes to dice jail. That's bad. Yeah, you, you may or may not want to spend a will to live to re-roll that, because it's going to... It's going to resolve the rolling a one on a... On a attack table and I mean, that's not good yeah jeb's gonna there we go all right and you spent a will to live for that uh I lily i don't think can attack back so i think she just rolls and doesn't have any modifiers don't you have to roll oh oh that's bad that's very bad um don't you have to roll on the one table anyway would he have to? 
Like, even though he used a will to live, wasn't it a natural one? I don't know, though. I guess, now that I'm thinking about it. The rule says if a natural one is rolled, its value is still added to the final result, but the player must roll on the natural one table to determine what else happens in current attack. Um, however, before that, it mentions will used to re-roll. Uh, one will to live can be used to re-roll an attack roll. Only the player using the will to live re-rolls. Their second result must be used. And then you oh, subtract yeah. one from their stats. That that would read to me like you just re-roll it, period. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, sorry. That, that's okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so... Since Lily can't attack back, there's no modifiers. Uh, but she rolled a six. Which means she adds an additional six. Uh, oh, but it is a large creature, isn't it? Creature, yeah. I was just looking at this down here. Oh, so maybe she... Oh, one to six... Is this range here? One to six. Yeah, that's a range. That's... I'm confused. That's not, uh, strength. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot uh, it works with this table. So what you do is you compare your result to this table, and that determines how many how much damage you do to the tentacle, since she's a large creature. Which okay. I don't know if there's. It's down here, Lily. Thank you. I don't know if there's any indication on the cards if they're large or not. I think it's just implied if they have more than one shit, maybe. Mm, I mean, I would I mean, think we can all agree a kraken's pretty large. Well, I think yeah, the... if, it, if it doesn't apply to the, to the kraken, it doesn't apply to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, so Mango, you had a. I rolled a five. You rolled a five, and you had a ten uh, from the revolver. Yeah. So that's 15, which does no damage. Does, does no damage. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Now, does the does the pistol fire again? It, was that the shoots twice? Yeah, it's the revolver, so it does roll twice. It does it does attack twice. Okay, so I do another attack, and she rolls again as well? Um, but I guess she doesn't roll I, because... Yeah, I don't think yeah. she needs to roll because it just goes on the large creature table. Yeah. Okay, so 14 also does nothing. Let me check that. I mean, that's how I felt when I bit the ship, but, you know. Well, you know. Don't complain then. Big, Jabowski, Big Jabowski's <laughs> drunk as a skunk. It's fair. That's fair. I mean, he's been drinking so he can make sure that he still wants to live. <laughs> Let's see, where's the part of the rule book? Not a bad rule book, but it's hard to find what you're looking for. Large so creature. like every rule book. Kind of. <laughs> What's the best thing we have against the Kraken? The harpoon gun. Yeah, it was but it's very much. I don't know. Have you considered <laughs> one drunk Jebediah or Jabowski? <laughs> I mean, who has really high strength things at close range, maybe? Or I don't know. I thought that gun was pretty high, honestly. I know. I mean, Conrad Berg, he's got the. I could like walk right up to it with my musket rifle. Because it's, nine, no, 10. So I could just basically get really close. Close enough for that, like, sweet middle shot. Where the heck is this in the rule book? Well, if we steer and... If we steer, we can... Yeah, we can still try for that. Try to outrun the thing. What are you looking for, uh, Garrick? The The... The large creature table, like what is that? Where is that actually mentioned in the rule book? Uh, or is that, I think it's a minus five means it would suffer minus five to something to stats. Right, it would take five damage effectively. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> under twelve point nine unique attacks. I don't know if you've looked there already. A player conducts a roll on the table, adding their weapon and strength if needed. 
subtract from large creature if damage is made. That's all it says. And it says <laughs> if lowering large creature strength, the strength of each token is is decreased together. Example: if Kraken loses three head strength and both tentacles, just strength uh, decrease by three. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. So we just—it's just really hard, apparently. <laughs> so we basically need to shoot this thing with the harpoon gun at the correct range, or the musket. Uh, we could also try flanking. If we have multiple people attack it, they can add their modifiers together. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Who has a musket? Me, Conrad Berg. Ah, oh, old <laughs> Conrad. Yeah, oh, yeah, that looks range, pretty strong. Range four. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. If I could get like within the middle range of it. By the middle range, I mean the middle range of the, the rifle itself. All right. Well, okay. I so think yeah, if we had like a bunch of people stab a harpoon in it at once, so it seems like we should just go back to the steering the ship plan and hope that works well for this round. Yes. And uh, we can try combat next round if it doesn't work well. Uh, I know we needed to move Wong up here so he could man that mast instead of Big Jeb. Yeah. When does this weather thing come into play? Is that an event? Yeah, I think that's events. It starts okay. clear. Uh, but yeah, we need to attempt to steer now. So what we're going to do uh, is roll 1d6, add modifiers, uh, and that indicates how much we can shift. This should be pretty easy because we only need to shift one direction. Uh, so... Badger, why don't you go ahead and roll a d6? All right. Three. Uh, and then we have plus one for the wheel, plus one for each two-man mast. Uh, so we could just shift it up to three if we wanted. But we only really need to shift one. We only need to one. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to get too far offline. Yeah. Well, there aren't two people on every mast, though, are there? Yeah, there are. Because they just need to be on or adjacent. And, oh, right, 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 yeah. right, right. I wasn't seeing the hexes. I, I need to fix my view here. <laughs> um, Those, the chits were in a weird, like, never mind. I'm done. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, uh, if Any we... Any other... What, what is the rope stuff about? What about them? What do you use them for? You can toss like... them at people if they're in the water. You can use them as a weapon in close combat. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, but we... Maybe you should tie up the tentacles. We shift ship direction. So we need to do something that's going to be terrible in TTS. We need to do this. Ah! <laughs> that didn't work. We should just never change ship direction again. <laughs> 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 There we go. Is the grid supposed to uh, line up in theory or no? It's supposed to Actually, line up roughly, which means this might need to be moved. <laughs> uh, Scott, I tried that. I didn't, it kind of didn't work. Uh, but I maybe have to try it again because it didn't quite line up. Yeah, that works better. Oh, okay. don't put it over the tentacles! This is where we were, right? Okay. That's where we were, you know, with tentacles. But now we're not moving the ship. Um, we've lost the tentacles. We're, what do you mean we lost them? They're, they're on, on the bottom the of the ship. ship. <laughs> yeah, they're literally stuck to the bottom. of the, now, uh, they're, now they're there. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I was trying to normally if you grab something it'll like pull it out of the the highlight and that didn't happen here. Okay, You're so too close to me. Spot, so 
That puts yeah, the tentacles here. Puts them right they here. were on boat C and D. Right, Move so, it up. The ships, so the ship was here then. Yes. Oh, okay. no. Don't, don't, yeah, just leave okay. my tentacles alone while you're trying to shift the ship. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, is Scott Phasing Player in the chat? Yes, Scott just showed up oh. to see this farce. What's up, Scott? <laughs> um, I was watching Suspiria before we started the stream, and oh my, all the color. <laughs> I think this looks correct to me. It's lining up. I think so. Try Mostly it. Mostly lining up. Yeah, that looks right. Yep. It's not perfect, but it's, it's not a little. This, yeah, it's but a this little grid off, is not it's... perfectly symmetrical. When I was lining it up, the X and the Y are different. It's it's okay. It is what it yeah. is. I think that's close enough. <laughs> All right, and then these. No, the oh. tentacles do not move. Okay. Okay. They're uh, attached to the head. They don't go with you. All right. Sorry. We need to. You're right. You're right. They are attached to the head. I'm being silly. Uh, but we do need to now do a ram against the against the uh, shark. I'll ram shark away right back. Arr. I think we do. I thought I remembered reading that somewhere. Yeah. Um... It's somewhere. The ship can ram. It's under the unique attacks under 12.9. It's 12.92. It's under the large creatures thing. The strength of 15. Ship may ram into characters when moving and turning. To do. A D6 is rolled and 15 strength added versus a normal combat. After combat, any surviving character or boat remains adjacent. Okay. So yeah, uh, we need to roll a d6 for the boat and a d6 for the shark. Sad. Oh dear. All right, who wants to roll for the boat? Captain. Captain. Damn it! Hey. hey. <laughs> uh, That's how a captain rolls a d6. Yep. Boo! All right, so Nat six adds an additional six. Mm -hmm. uh, which yep. means it's going to be 12 plus 15 for 27 versus the sharks. Uh, versus the sharks what? Is it 30 or is it? Uh, yes, 30. Because it's strength? Yeah, yeah, 30. Okay. Uh, so we deal the difference. Uh, I already forgot what we did. 27. 27. 27. I have 30, good. which is higher. That is higher. Which means That's uh, a party I think just nothing happens. The ship isn't doesn't take enough to be damaged, so that's a shame. You can't even hurt a shark by ramming into it. It's a good shark. That's a heck of a shark. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that was basically our whaler action. So now we just do movement. Yeah, and then unless we want to pull anybody else off the mast in light of the fact that we haven't done anything. Yeah, Erzad, sixes are doubled. Uh, and even with the double, it wasn't enough. So, yeah, I mean, I I think we just hope we move fast, maybe? I don't know. Let's keep this moving. Uh, so ship movement, we manned everything. So we have four plus the three from the wind. So that's seven. Uh, we are not pointing straight anymore, so we have to divide that between the two tracks. It's going to be one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, uh, which means we now need to apply that to the evil tokens. Lily? One, two, three, four. And then three over. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess Actually, you could choose up or down. Actually, I'm gonna... On odd ones, you, I guess, could choose up or down. I'm, I'm gonna move this guy. Four, one, two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and this guy goes one, two, three. Okay. Uh, so that's ship movement. Uh, we're on to the evil turn. So, Lily. Arr! Uh, um... One, two, three, four, 
five. It gets about a. Yeah, yeah. Scott, that is indeed a kraken and a shark. Things are not good. <laughs> <laughs> um, dang it! I can't get to a human. I was really trying to get to a human. Because these are stuck for. Yeah. I mean, as long as you can trace that four, it doesn't have to be like a strict straight line. Oh, wait, shoot. They're only three away right now. Oh. Yeah. So move them out further. That's not good. That's all not right, good at let's all. All right, <laughs> little Jeb's going down. OK. So you're attacking little Jeb? I will be attacking little Jeb. He cannot be grabbed, though. Aren't you grabbing him? I mean, She's not grabbing. You? She's just attacking. I'm, I'm poking him around. you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm, try, I'm trying to hug you, but you don't want that. <laughs> it's just a really tight hug. <laughs> uh, Mango, is there any weapon you want to use with that? I mean, all of them? I don't know if you can use all of them. I think you can use you got one two of hands, them. Right? Um, no. so I guess the harpoon's the best option here. It does appear to be. Yeah. One weapon per attack or defense. Yep. Unless you're dual wielding, dual wielding which you can only do like once or game. Yeah, you can only do once per game unless you're Mr. Chandu, who can do it all the time. Okay, so yeah, so Lil Jeb, you know, attempts to thwart this uh, this assault, this tentacly assault with a harpoon. All right, Lily, roll. All right, Mango, go ahead and roll. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, five hey. times hiding for <laughs> uh, So, Lily, what's your total result? 19. 19. And Mango, what's yours? Um, my strength or speed? Uh, it's your strength that adds. Um, and you can add so will. Nine. Yeah, and you can choose What's the, the weapon do? The weapon adds four. Okay. Oh, so, so nine 13. plus four is 13. Yeah. Uh, and then you can choose to buff it with will if you want to. Um, so wait, am I, I'm going to be suffering the difference? You are. So right now oh, I'm suffering what? six. The difference between the two results, Lily. No, I meant to what? To what? To what? What does it affect? A everything. You 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 can allocate uh... it among your stats however you want. Okay. 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 And speed is the number of hexes I can move. Yes. Okay. So burning will to live doesn't really. It's not useful because I'm still going to be burning stats anyway with the difference. Yes. Unless you could buff it over, or something. Yeah. No, because I only have six will to live, and I'm down by six. So. Um, so little Jeb's going to sacrifice, has to sacrifice six overall. So I'll do two speed, three will to live, and one strength. Cool. That's a, that's a hell of a tentacle right there. All right, Chip D. Coming okay. back for you. Coming back for Chip D. So that's 17. Uh, and did we, I forget, Ship D rolls and adds its strength. Is that how it worked? Mm -hmm. Its strength is seven right now. Yeah. So 17 yeah. versus. Hey. Ooh, so minus four. So 19 to 17. So it actually takes no damage? Yeah, it takes no damage. Oh, nice. Because sixes are doubled. Yep. Oh, right, right. Sixes are doubled. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Um, I'm getting the strategy in this game is to roll sixes. Yes, that's Basically. the strategy. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, well, now that I know that, I'll just do that. Right. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lily, did you, you still need to summon an evil? I know. And there's a shark. Oh, and there's a shark. Um, and a head. Oh, yeah. I forgot the head can do things. Well, he already moved. The head moved. Oh, yeah. He can't reach anything, so. Um... Yeah, Scott, I saw that playthrough. That's, uh... So far, that's not in the cards. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'm gonna summon an evil. 
I don't care what this rolls. Five. So it'll go over here. Oh, not really. Would you like a fungus? Because you get a fungus. I think you still need to reveal a counter. Uh, yeah, I'm still revealing the counter. There it is. But it goes, it goes onto the ship. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello! Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> 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 um okay we're super screwed i am very annoying we're super screwed <laughs> where's the witch the what the, the sea the witch. witch if she doesn't draw um... it she doesn't have to play it I mean, she doesn't. It's true. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a fungus. All right, so we need to. I give you fungus. We need to roll a d6 for infection for every adjacent character, which is Mr. Chandu, Conrad, Conrad Berg, Wong, Wong and, and Little, Little Jeb. Jeb. All right, Little Jabowski, come on. What do I need to roll? If you roll... That is not a six, so good job. Yeah, good job. <laughs> so one time you don't want to roll a six. Okay. All right, let me roll for Wong, because I think I'm controlling Wong. Yep. Not a six. Ooh, close. All right. Okay, my turn? Yes. All well, right, Conrad. With, with dice, technically, it's just as close as any other result, really. Oh, uh, no, no, Conrad! Conrad! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Um, so Conrad um, is now infected. Yep. Yeah, uh, nope. That's and then Shandu. Actually, I should probably take these off for all these. Okay. Well. Yeah. You guys are not infected with fungi yet. And there is nothing we can do about that stupid fungus. Nope. It's just it's a sea fungus. What if we burn the ship down? <laughs> <laughs> that, that that might work you should try that we need a flame gun oh hey we can amputate fungus as an action yeah <laughs> oh, <woo. laughs> yeah that's so does yeah. um can we if we take one of the lifeboats out and get to the end does that still win or does the yeah that still wins we could swim to the lighthouse if we have to <laughs> okay so <laughs> How fast do those ships move? Probably not as fast, huh? It's one per one per person. In yeah, the one per person in it. You have to you have to row basically. Erzad, she gets to conquer, just, you know, play and draw one the, each turn. We could just send out the ships so she has to deal with them. You know, spread out the forces. <laughs> I feel like we just get picked off more quickly that way. <laughs> <laughs> so the shark would love it if you jump into the water. What's up, MJ? Um, I just I don't remember what happens when you're infected. It, it, it just it just means when you die, uh, you become a zombie. Yeah. Oh. Basically, when you die, you become one of them. If I die. If you die. When you die. Any infected character? Any infected character roll damage. All right, Lily, is that your full turn? Uh, no, I've got a shark. Oh no, you still have a shark. Shark. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shark is attacking ship. Roll the four, so that will be twenty nine. Captain. So captain, roll badly. Oh my god, again. So yeah, that's nineteen to twenty nine, which is not fifteen to difference. So I hate everything. I feel like that sh shark should be able to do more, but I don't know what it would. Uh, he's waiting to pick off people that go overboard. I think. Yeah, that's yeah. what it feels like. The little, can... the little boats. The 15 difference to attack the ship seems a little big, but that's just me. I mean, it's a big ship. Yeah. It is a big so, ship. The whole of those things is going to be pretty thick, right? This sh shark is pretty evil. Anyway. <laughs> um... yeah, he's got, he's obviously has some dental issues. He can't really bite properly. Ah. I mean, that, that up also, the shark has a really big will to kill for being it's true. a shark that can be used, probably, or not used. 
I just noticed that and was like, why is it so much? It's, just <laughs> it's too much will to kill. <laughs> There's a lot of will to kill. Okay, so do we go to events? How does the, how does the wind change? Is that an event thing? Uh, it's an event, or there's some evil characters that can do it and stuff. Yeah. I don't control the weather, no. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's do an event check. Still no event. I think next turn we should do an event, even if we fail the roll. I think we should I do agree. an event now. All right, we can do an event now. Yeah, I mean, three's the magic number, right? This is the third time with no event? Sure, let's do it. 11, a flock of seagulls attack. Every character on deck <laughs> must roll an attack against a large flock of seagulls. <laughs> Goals are knife and blunt strength six. <laughs> all right, so. I've seen the lighthouse. This all checks out. This does all check out. Big and little, I got a five and a three. So what does that mean? Um... Strong attack against a large flock of seagulls. Gulls are knife and blunt, strength six. So presumably uh, the gulls would roll and add that to their strength of six, and that would be your your target. Okay, so I rolled a five and a three on my strength, right? Yeah, for, for your characters. Plus their harpoon, I guess, what, whatever weapon they want to use? Yes. And this is a range one attack? That's a good point. What does it say? Um, I would assume it's it's close combat since it doesn't say anything. Okay. Well, I guess it's, I I rolled prematurely, so so they, I need to beat it. You need to beat a six. Well, I'm assuming they get a, a roll as well. Oh right. So let's see. They roll a one. So they have seven. Big Jeb. Rolls a four plus eight plus four. So yeah, that that's okay. And then little Jeb. Uh if the harpoon has a uh what is it? If it has an asterisk, it gets discarded afterward. Is that true even for close combat? That seems weird. Those harpoons are slippery. They might be covered in grease or something. Well, Jeb probably wouldn't have rolled it. Anyway, because he has the strength of eight, he wouldn't have used the harpoon. Yeah. No need for it. Um, Didn't Little Jeb use the harpoon earlier, though? So would he still have his harpoon? Oh, Little Jeb wouldn't have the harpoon, right. So Little Jeb has a knife, though. So I guess Little Jeb will roll next. So they roll a one again. So seven versus... Little Jeb's fine. Little Jeb's fine. All right, all right, you're all done? I'm all done. Who wants to roll next? Me. Cool. MJ, go for it. Uh, Is that your roll or, or the seagull's roll? Conrad. That was Conrad, okay. Oh. okay. That was what, eight? Eight plus any, you got a spear hook you could add three with. Yes. <laughs> do you have to? Are the is that seven for the seagulls like total, or do people have to re-roll it for each person character? It says thing? each character must roll an attack, so I'm assuming we roll an attack, you know, for every single character. Okay. My dice tray is sitting right next to me here. Let's so see. Conrad's 11 total. Okay. And then Shandu with... Did you roll for the goals against Conrad? Oh, no, I didn't. Let's check that. Go. All right, you're good. Conrad's good. Okay, all right. Shandu with his knife. I think you mean his knives. The... I guess I can use both, so yeah. So why not? Yeah. So 14. No, excuse me, 13. Plus. Okay, so that's 17. Gulls. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, so that's 18, 18 for the gulls. Yep. So you take one damage. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. It could have been worse. Glad you no. double wielded. 
All right, let me go ahead and get mine done. Uh, starting with Wong. Uh, first roll is going to be me. Second roll is going to be the goals. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wong has a strength of four and a meat cleaver of five. So it's going to be nine versus the goal six. So he's fine. Uh, let's do the same thing for Hamish uh, using the knife. So that's going to be 10 plus the first roll. 11 versus nine. So we're fine. Who wants to go next? All right. Badger? I will. Yep. So Benny will use his revolver. Wait, who ended up getting fungus? Conrad. What happened to the other one? You got to double click for the two dice. Okay. I'll just click. So he's got. Benny's got a lot. Um, and so <laughs> for the gall. Looks like 17. Yep, and then the Where's captain the will yeah, use so his fine. knife because he gets his strength out of it. Yep. And he's fine. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. All right, Pat, you still with us? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to roll for your characters for the goal attack? Sure. So we've got tens, tens for Jebediah. So is that one Fiery Path or Jebediah? The top one, yeah, so Jebediah. Okay. Jebediah is safe. Cool, cool. And he gets plus two with the Tomahawks. I think that's what we're using. Okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that checks out. That's pretty 14 sick. 14 for him. Yeah. You kicked those goals, butt. <laughs> 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 All right. We got out of that pretty okay. Uh, just about a scratch. Yeah. All right. No water rises, so we're just on to whaler actions. Um, yeah, what do we want to do, guys? Do we want to try and fight these or keep racing or what? <clears throat> I mean, I feel like... So if we can gang up on one of these tentacles, how many of us are adjacent? Uh, right. Do you do you do you need to man the helm, or do you not need to? Like, if we're steered in the right direction already. Uh, if if nobody mans the masts or the helm, we will not move. Which I know oh. is not realistic, but that's how it works. So you have to man sort of the helm. realistic, I think. <laughs> well, you should still have some. Don't you still get the wind, or? Uh oh, that's fair. We would still get the plus one from the wind. Yeah. So we would have or plus four. three from the wind, actually. We would have four total. Yeah, or three by default. We'd have to add. We'd have. It depends on if we man masts or or the helm. So if Wong and the Jabowskis, well, that would be that would be down. We'd be down a mask. But if the three of us ganged up on this tentacle, we could theoretically kill it. Yes. Maybe. We could try it. Or not kill it, but you know. Put a dent. Yeah. Um, how much does the Kraken move? Five. Five. And the shark is dead. So the shark can keep up no matter what, pretty much. Yeah, but yeah. so far the shark isn't a problem. It's just st sitting there menacingly. It's ramming its head against the ship. It's just not doing anything. It is. It it's is. Like, it's like in Deep Blue Sea. Those like first two times it hits the glass, nothing happens, right? <laughs> Um, I mean, it's, you know, Wong is also involved in that, and we also have speed to consider. So, I mean, I think we could do it between the gun and the knife. You know, li maybe little Jeb stays on the sail, or does it well, require okay. two to get the bonus? It does require two to get the bonus. Uh, and about flanking, the way it works is we can either close combat flank, which means both of the characters have to be in the hex with who they're attacking, <sighs> Or we can do a range flank, in which case nobody's allowed to be in the hex with the enemy, and it's all ranged attacks. So did Wong and Little Jeb run away from the fungus? It's maybe not a bad idea. The fungus never moves. Right, so it's maybe good just to get away from it. 
I mean, like these the the guys on the mast are kind of. I have already sealed my fate, lads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason for. There's no reason for them to hang out there if they don't have to. So, like, we could. Does Wong have a range? I know the answer to that. Wong does not really have a ranged attack. Well, the thing is, you only have to be range one of the mass to, to operate it, right? So we can right. still move away. Right. I was trying to think how we can set up a flank, because only so many characters have ranged attacks. Well, Shandu's just going to move over here. Conrad's going to stay at the mast. Does Conrad want to amputate a leg? <laughs> so, sorry, the movement, not yet. The movement is done. Sep you can do the movement in conjunction with an action at any point, right? Right. Okay. Did the captain uh, get involved in this fight or steer? That's a good question. We All in. Have... How many masts are we manning currently? Um, it looks like mast well, A is manned. There's no reason not to man the first mast. I don't right. think. Well, is Wong gonna? Is Wong could move back here with a little Jeb, right? Yes. So we could do is that. Is the harpoon gunner doing any good? Not currently. Uh, it looks like we have Master B between Chandu and Conrad. So it looks like A and B are currently manned. Wong and Little Jeb. Neither have a ranged attack. That tentacle is annoyingly placed. I don't know, do we want to sacrifice a mast and try to beat up a tentacle? Does anyone? We have the issue of Wong and Little Jeb don't really have ranged attacks. Big... Well, Little Jeb does. With the monkey fist. Oh, I guess that's so, fair. Jebediah, what are you doing? And Wong... Oh, wait, no, Wong doesn't have the harpoon. He has the cleaver, but he'd lose it. Can you go pick it up, or is it gone forever? Uh, if, if, you, if you don't move away from the item, you can pick it back up. Uh, if, it's, if it's something like throwing it, I think it's just gone forever. Yeah. Uh, there's, you can also just get a harpoon. Yeah. Maybe As Wong should get a harpoon, because it's at range one, it's got a seven, which Pretty good. Which is good. It just it takes an action, so we're not doing anything this turn. Well, let's man the sails one more turn and get some speed, and then, you know, uh, so Big Jeb and Lil Jeb can man that mast. Wong can pick up a harpoon and set up for next turn to hit something if we need to. That sounds like so, a plan. Or what are you saying? What is uh, Jebediah doing? It's a good question. Jebediah think... should shoot that thing. That thing's powerful, right? Well, I don't think it's going to have line of sight at anything. Right, because I'm wondering, should Jebediah just help man Mast A? Shandu just stays on Mast B with Benny, and Conrad actually just takes a pot shot with his mast. How, how is line of sight measured? Uh, from center of hex to center of hex, and masts and characters all block. Masts and characters all block, so any portion of the... I guess a character in the hex, the whole hex is blocked. Yeah, it doesn't really. Oh, sh it's not any more granular than that in the rule book. Got it. So I can't. Sh uh, right. So I can't fire my musket through this hex with the. Yeah. Fungus. Yeah. So Conrad would have to move anyway if he does that. But I wonder if Conrad should just get off the mast so he can use his musket because he's got one of the best weapons on the ship. That's maybe a good idea. So but yeah, we don't need to. So I'm saying Jebediah should maybe get off the. Uh, if he goes up the mast, does that give him better line of sight? That's a great question. I don't think that's a thing in the rules, but it should be. If I go up into the perch, yeah. Um, I think that's a great rule, and it says to make up rules, right? It, it, the designer does. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, I didn't spend all those years playing ASL for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't play it anymore. Oh um, well, I not as much. <laughs> well, so if I'm up in the 
So, so here's the thing. The musket is not that great at a distance. So it's actually better. It's not good for... It's not as isn't good it, if I'm up in the perch. Isn't it best at mid-range? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the perch, so I don't would, really, the perch is too would take up, me, so the range of two, right? Sure, but it would take me that much longer to get up to the perch. So I don't know that it's that useful. I think range of three is the best. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what can you what can you see from range three. You get here. Is that a line of sight? Or get here? I mean, I think that probably gets blocked by. Oh, maybe not. Does that get blocked by? So if you change that setting, if you change that setting on the line tool to uh, center from edge, it'll go from center of token to center of token. Um, Scott, I have not played any of his games before, although I own basically everything, uh, all the magazine stuff and war cults, at least. That's not... So the, the, the fungus blocks line of sight? Let me check. I think the... It would, because it's... Because it doesn't anything in a hex. Yeah, I think just anything in the hex will, will block it. So what about... But I'm just going fungus? like this, aren't I? Thing? Can the fungus be destroyed? I mean, you could... Does the fungus have stats? The fungus can't get destroyed, I don't no, think. It it just... It's just an impediment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lily was Remains very annoying. on ship, hex, or boat for the rest of the game. Yeah, it's just a block of fungus that sits there. Blocking my shot. <laughs> Blocking okay, my well, nice, think, let's, clean let's just try to keep going. Shot. Let's just go fast another turn, and, um, and we've got a setup for... Like, you know, even if you... So shooting the musket at range one is still not bad, right? It's not bad. Yeah, it's still adding 10. So, like, if you can come up and join this joint attack at range one next turn, then we could maybe put a serious hurt on a tentacle. Just man the mass for this turn so we can get some speed while... Wong gets a harpoon on this turn. And the Jeb, awesome. the Jabowski's man the mast. So, but Conrad could still get off the mast to set up to take a shot next turn. But to do so, Jebediah might have to man one of the masts. That's yeah. fine. He can't shoot for he can't shoot anything from back there anyway right now. Okay. All right. Pat, you fine with Jebediah moving over to man a mast? Yep. Uh, Dahlia, this is basically one versus many, although the rules are pretty loosey-goosey and are like, you can have as many people play evil as you want. But yeah, in, in terms of what works best for the game, I think it's one versus many. All right, so what else do we need to do to... Oh, am I steering or am I... I think you're steering. I think the idea man, is... You know, just manning the wheel? Yeah, you're manning the wheel, and I think okay. Wong was going to pick up a harpoon, and then everyone else was basically okay. going to just man uh, masks. Yeah, the, the Jabowskis are manning um, this mask, mask C. What, what's Conrad doing? Because Conrad doesn't need to move, because Conrad can move JC turn and participate in the ranged. Right? Well, I can't, sh I can't shoot from the mast. Right, but you don't need to move this turn because you can move here next turn and then you should be able to shoot. Well, but so moving would be an action, though. Oh, I thought you no, no, move, move, no, you move and take an action. Oh, okay. I'm misspeaking. <laughs> I, think, I think we're pretty good to, to move on to ship movement. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so ship movement, we have everything manned, right? So that's four plus the three from the wind. So we're going to have a total of seven. Uh, we are not pointed straight, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, and then another three west, which is not terrible. We should probably correct, should probably correct that soon. Uh, eventually, yeah. <laughs> what happens if we, get to the, if we get to the end of the north-south track and we're not on course, what happens? It, we don't win yet. <laughs> okay. So we don't have to keep going north. We just have to turn around. Well, I guess we could potentially be going south. Yeah, right? we we can go south. So like we need to not turn around too much. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> All right, uh, Lily, evil turn. Okay. Messes up. Do we have to move? 
this stuff relative to... Oh, we do need to move that stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. We, Lily, we moved yeah, how'd you move? four north and three west, so you need to move... Same as, yeah, same as previous. Three, one, two. Right back. Um, yeah, I guess it should be farther back. No, I think the tentacles just should be one more forward, right? Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, well, why don't we just do the fungus's turn first? Makes it easy. So Conrad and Chandu are the only ones who have to roll this turn for it. Yeah, I guess I does, so. How does yeah, the damage right. work? Is there a... I don't think... I think you're just infected or you're not. Yeah, the damage it just, only comes because you used to amputate. Yeah, it just infects you, which does stuff when you die. That's all it does. Oh, it said any infected character roll damage on the fungus card here. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, I think we actually do take damage then. But I don't know where you would What's roll. That? The the sea fungus, its second thing is any infected character roll damage. So I think infected characters probably roll and take that much damage. Um... If I'm reading that as an instruction, which it seems like it's supposed to be. Yeah, that seems to make sense. All right, so for the fungus turn, Conrad will have to roll for damage. So perhaps amputating is a good idea. Yeah, that, that does explain why amputating would be good. Yeah, and remember, you guys can you guys can man the mass from adjacent, so you don't have to. We don't have to stand next to the fungus to. I thought we moved mass. Chandu away. Because he wasn't infected. Yeah. And we don't want him to become infected. Sorry who's, about that. Who's can do? <clears throat> so then that... So... Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Um... I think I thought that the amputation thing was the game's, like, dark sense of humor, where... If you know you're going to die, then you would rather amputate something than succumb to the other <laughs> side. <laughs> and that's fair. Like I, I was, I was under a similar impression. So okay, <laughs> I don't know. We're figuring it out. This stuff is not the most crystal clear. Um, I mean, like I feel like a lot of it is straightforward. It's just that kind of like anything can happen in any order. So figuring out procedures of right. things is kind of tricky. Right. Um. So I have to roll against damage right now. It, it sounds like you just roll for damage, and whatever you it, it just says roll damage, which tells me you just roll and take that much damage. Oh no, oh, MJ. That's really bad. That's um, really bad. <laughs> Uh Oh, nope. Oh my goodness. Come on. Okay. Okay. All right. Um So Lily, is that the fungus turn done? Yeah, that's the fungus turn done. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to move the kraken. Yeah, Scott, I totally agree. Like, I'm not upset that this is very loosey goosey and open interpretation. It's it's part of the charm for sure. It just means we have to, you know, intuit how it how it works. Or I mean, to be fair, also in in some ways, I feel like there's a this is like in con in comparison to my experience playing it in person, which is just one time, <laughs> um, and which I'm only partly counting because I feel like I I did something wrong. 
Um, it's also easier to kind of figure things out, I feel like, in, in person. In TTS, there's like an extra layer of stuff. Mm -hmm. But... I mean, really, this is just a, uh, it's a team <laughs> encounter on a hex grid with weird rules. Right. <laughs> yeah. The thing is kind of you weird move for the and bowl. you do an action. <laughs> um, so does this tentacle attack everything in this space, or do I have to pick something? I think you pick something. Okay. As it also maybe mentioned, The you boat movement thing bothers me. <laughs> Why is because, that? Because, because all the movement between two bodies is relative, right? Right. So if we're moving seven, shouldn't he be like seven behind us then? The Kraken? Well, yeah, we're moving seven in those directions, but also the you know the Kraken can shift around us. You know, the movement is happening simultaneously. Right, yeah, but if the, we're moving seven and he's, he's moving five. But yeah, but he can move. The, the problem is we didn't move... Oh, yeah seven straight we moved seven split across two directions so yeah really, but relative to him we're moving away from him in a straight line at a true. given speed i mean you've been how did lily move back last turn uh, uh the way she did it i guess is right according to the rules but in reality if if i'm it doesn't matter relative i mean we're moving this way on these tracks relative to the lighthouse, but, yes, but it's all it's all. But on exactly the map, really we're moving true. relative to the evil, and we're moving away from them at a speed of seven, and they're only chasing us at a speed of say five. So they shouldn't be able to to stay to stay in contact, right? I mean, we're not getting where we want to be. I mean, we're we're moving relative to two things. We're moving relative to the lighthouse on this track but on the map we're moving relative to you're basically saying the ship the shipboard shouldn't rotate these direction things should still happen the way they are but the shipboard should well you rotate. could you could rotate this here but then these would move relative to the rotation never mind it doesn't it doesn't matter it's just <laughs> no i i get it though but, i get it but like if you're doing if you do like a, if you do, if you do, um, like if you do ship navigation things with a with a movement board, and the ship is static in the middle, then everything moves relative to the boat. It's just, it just, it doesn't oh, yeah. matter. That's true. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Anyway. Um. <laughs> That's the whole point of going with the wind, then, is you're going faster than what's chasing you, so they shouldn't be able to keep <laughs> up. But oh, uh, let's, let's. I think I am still going after a little yeah. jab. Yeah, I, mean, I guess you could, you could, if you wanted to house rule that to make the fiction. If you had, if you didn't make a turn this turn, then you go, you move the movement in the direction of the ship. Direction of the right? ship, yeah. But if you did do a turn, then they don't have to follow that rule, and they can move anyway when they do the adjustment. So you could house rule that to make it a little more realistic, I guess, if you wanted. But it's right. already stacked it does, against... It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's just... Yeah. No, I was just... <laughs> I'm just thinking. So. I get it. You're, you're right, though. It is not, like, strictly correct uh, simulation. Right. Because you're gaining speed to get away from them, but in doing so, you're you're getting yourself off course as to what you want to do. That's that's that would be the trade off in my right. head. But we should probably start correcting course, at least not getting to not get further off course. Yeah, I mean, we could maybe pray to Neptune next turn and try to put the wind at at a different position, and then steer. Yeah. Um, I'm still attacking him? little Jeb. Yeah. Uh, we're also fighting a current. There's the answer. That's how we fix it. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Done. <laughs> but yeah, if we printed Neptune, shift it behind us, and, and simultaneously adjust to go straight, 
we can put some distance between us and the Kraken. We could, yeah. Mango, I'm still trying to hurt you. This is true. Mango, you're in the middle of a combat roll. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Who, whom did you try to hurt? Little Jeb. So 15 plus my monkey fist, or no, my knife. So 18. And that's to my 27. <laughs> Oof. We well, both yeah. rolled sixes, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you rolled six too. Sorry, I yeah. was I was thinking about ship movement. So that's, <laughs> um, uh, is it nine or 11? Sorry, I, I missed what the numbers actually were. Again, 18 to 27, so nine. Woof. I mean, we're supposed to be dying off, so this is accurate. Yeah, we're we're doing yeah. So we're yeah, doing, little Jeff, little Jeff is, is immobile and very weak. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, and then the shark is going to swim up and try this again and fail at it, but he's gonna try. Thirty. Someone roll for the ship, please. I got it. Or, yeah. It's actually it's impossible, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Well, we got a one. Still impossible. What do you need, do you need a six and a one combo? Yeah, effectively, I need a, if I get a six, I'm basically okay, but I need to get a six. Um. All right, and I have to reveal one more thing, and you know what? It is. I will roll it. it nice. Appears at the helm, but I'm going to reveal this almost immediately. You guys, you guys wanted a hurricane, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> did she say hurricane? She said I a hurricane. I did say hurricane. <laughs> All right. I, I, I thought you guys, I thought you guys wanted a hurricane. All right. We reveal, we remove weather, uh, place that in the weather box, which is down here. Nope, not the whole card, the chit. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No, no, it, up where it says current weather. Oh! <laughs> Help me. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? Um, all right. Each turn conduct three phases, so roll a d6 to change the wind direction. All right, five. Uh, and wind. Oh, that'll push us back where we want to be. And wind so. wind modifiers are now doubled. So, or sorry, add two. So yes. it's either minus three or minus five or plus three or plus five instead of uh, plus one plus three. And then roll a d6 for hurricane effects. Three. The galley takes two flood. Oh boy. That's, uh, can we <clears throat> can we fix that? Can we... Yes, we have yes. ways to go fix I guess, that. I yes. guess that's why you go below deck is to yes. fix the flooding. That is why. Yeah. Uh, and then right. finally, Lily, roll for the hurricane length. Okay. All right. The hurricane does not end. That's it. Uh, Erzad, we don't fight a hurricane. We just try and get lucky and sail away from it. <laughs> You don't sail away from a hurricane. No, if we roll, if the third phase rolls a six twice, we end the hurricane. Yeah, but that's not you roll. That's not you sailing away from it. That's just the hurricane dying. Well, no, that's us sailing away because first you hit the eye of the hurricane, and the second time you do it, you the hurricane ends. So that's you sailing or it blowing past you. You know. I thought it was just the hurricane being like, "Okay, I'm done." So I guess <laughs> we don't pray to Neptune then in this case. Yeah, I don't think we need to pray to Neptune in this case. Might as well steer. Might uh, as well steer and get us back. But hold on, get us back this way quick. Uh, so Lily, you're all done. I am all done. So we need to roll an event. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thirty-three. Are we just doing them every time? I thought. Oh we were yeah, we're just doing them every time. All right. Spooky uh, wind weather. <laughs> spooky wind weather. <laughs> I think I've got something spooky. Plus one, minus one to wind direction. Uh, I really speed. love just that last line of this. Minus one speed for characters outside. D6 
damage roll result doubles if on fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If the person's on fire or the ship's on fire? Yes. The ship can, the <laughs> ship can burn, I think. Yeah. Um, sure. So I guess there's no there's no problem with Little Jim having negative one movement, right? It doesn't get like sucked into another dimension or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a thing. I think Little Jeb's just stuck in place. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, we don't have a hole, so we don't actually need to add water, I don't think. But let me check that, so I'm not lying. Water. Yeah, this is just water came over the. Yeah, I don't think over it the actually... rail and down the down the. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we don't have any holes. Okay. Uh, so, if yeah. If we had holes, that'd be terrible because the tentacles can go through holes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, whaler actions phase. Uh, we now have a lot of problems. Okay, do I have to... I've got Benny, who can go below deck. Do I have to get to one of the spaces with the water? Uh, so that depends on if you're playing with the advanced rules or not. <laughs> if you're playing with the advanced rules, you need to get to the water. If you're not, you just need oh, to he be can get to this one in the galley. Except for his speed, his speed will only, yeah, well, one down, one over. Yep, he can get there, even if he's slow by the. Um, so Wong, Wong, Big Jeb, and uh, Conrad are going to attack this tentacle? Well, okay, so so hold on. We, we have a rare opportunity here. We have incredible winds. If yes. we can steer the boat. Steer the boat and, <laughs> and run like hell, yes. Well, I guess, yeah, Captain idea. Burke should... Let's see if Captain Burke can do that. Well, we, the, we steer better the more masts we man, and we, we right. move better the more masts we man. So we, we need to find out how many like masts we're going to man and how well, and stuff before. If, if Benny goes down, these two can still do this one, and these two can do this one, right? Yeah. And then we've got... So that seems... We've got enough people to man C. We could... I don't know. We could send... Little Jeb can't do much of anything, actually. So Little, little Jeb, Jeb is... Little Jeb, the only thing little little Jeb's going to take one for the team, I think. I think Little Jeb can just man. And yeah. then either Big Jeb or Wong can, which gives us one extra character to do something with. If we wanted to... Oh, that's blocked off. And movement's limited. So we can we not move through the fungus either? Um, I think, I mean, we can't really attack it, can we? You can't attack no. it, but I feel like you could move through it. Well, normally what happens is when you enter an enemy hex, you have to attack before you can continue any movement. Um, it's a sticky fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Character movement. Must stop on hexes of enemy characters to attack. They may continue moving after the attack. But I don't know what you do if it if you can't attack it. Does not move. I mean, you remains on. You should be able to run past it. I would say that you just keep moving. I would guess. Are we going to say that and not say that it's uh, an obstacle? Well, okay, so you can attack it. Go ahead and roll the dice, but nobody does any damage because nobody has. It doesn't have any stats, right? So the attack happens, but it has no effect. I guess we could well, interpret it that then way. You, then you could do it, and then if you roll a one, something bad could happen too. But okay, so I almost feel like we one, should do an infection roll if you want to try to move past it. Sounds good. All right. I like it. All right. Uh, we're having Wong go. This is Calvin deck. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> this basically is Calvin Ball. All right. Wong has three movement because of the wind. So one, two, three into the below deck. Uh, and let's roll for infection. No infection. Okay. Uh, and then Wong can roll to fix the ship. Uh, so it's, he's in the galley. He rolls a 1d6. Uh, two. That's a 2. Add strength. Uh, 4. So it's going to be 6 total, which is nothing. That's a fail. Oh, you can have the strength of all characters fixing to result. We were having Benny go down there as well, right? Yeah, Benny is going to go down there. How much strength does Benny have? Four? Not much. That's enough. That'll remove one flood token if we do it together. Yep. So yeah, we remove one flood token. 
And that's because we check this chart and our strength is enough to remove a flood token. All right, and then everyone else is just manning and we're trying to steer the ship, right? Well, I think I think Conrad's going to try to amputate his fungus. Uh, but MJ, we need to we need, we're trying to we can no, sacrifice but, Conrad. We need to move as fast as we can. <laughs> but sacrifice if Conrad, Conrad? If, if Conrad needs to take a shot, um, you know, Big Jeb can move up and man that mast. Right, should that should this be the time that Conrad does that? Oh, no, he cannot because he only moved two. Well, I can, but then risk infection. So, I mean, I thought the whole point um, of Little Jeb was to man the mast that with Big Jeb. Yeah. Yep. Well, then what about? Um, there's someone else under here. There's a boat. It's a boat. Oh, yeah. There used to be someone else under there. They yeah, we just we just you moved Wong below right deck. Yep. Got it. Got it. Got it. We had a whole Wong plan. Wong below deck. We were fixing flood no, tokens. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay, so those are, yeah, they're manning now. MJ, so I, think- I need line of sight. I can't move from the mass to shoot the fungus. MJ, why are you so trigger happy? We need to you man this to, ship. You can't shoot the fungus anyway. Well, no, I mean the, one of the tentacles. You could move here. And have wide Because I think I could do some damage. I got a good gun. And or we could make it home time. safe. We could run. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Don't listen to them, MJ. <laughs> MJ, priorities. Think of the crew. Well, I'm going to obey my captain. What does my captain say? I say we run. Okay, we run like hell. All right. You're man in that mast. We have three masts. We have a wheel. Uh, Badger, why don't you go ahead and roll and we'll see how many directions we can shift. I'm going to gain some composure in a sec, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is seven. Oh, that's perfect. We can do uh, up to three direction shifts and we just need two to go to the, the two space. Yep. That's what we want. Yep. Uh, that does have the unfortunate result of us needing to rotate the ship again. <laughs> Uh, I guess Lily, pick up. Yeah, pick up your tentacles. I'm not. Yeah. All right. You guys can go for it. <laughs> pick up your tentacles. <laughs> uh, yeah. The sharks. Okay. I just know where the shark is. Okay. Does that look right to everybody? Uh, yeah, that's close enough. That's approximately lined up. Oh, actually, uh. Yeah, it's just, it take, it's, it's because of the height, the lift height and all that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's just, the scale is a little off on the grid, but I think that's. I think we need to be a little to the right. I think we're not lined up on the right. You see it? Oof. Every, every, every time I look somewhere different, it's, it's unlined up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I guess, yeah. What is happening? We're trying to line it up. It's a game of itself. It's... I, yeah, someone else take a shot. If you need to rotate it, make sure you select... But yeah, let me... All right, I'm highlighting around. everything... Oh, yes, yes, nearly, what? nearly. I think that's good. All right, I, I, we're, we're maybe not getting any better than this. All right, we're just going to go with that. Okay. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> it's awful, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now I have now I have a compulsion to try to fix this. I know, I know. We gotta we gotta move on though. <laughs> all right. Um, so that's all of our actions, and we're doing ship movement now. Uh, so this is going to be a, a doozy. We've got our four ship movement from Manning stuff. We have five from the wind plus the hurricane, plus one from the spoopy wind. 
right? Uh, Plus one, yeah, minus yep. one wind direction, yeah. Okay, so that's going to be four, uh, nine, ten. So five total on both tracks. Nice. Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five. I don't like this. Hey, hey, look at that. Uh, Here's out. I tried. It doesn't line up. Yeah, it's it. When you line up one side, the other side goes up. I can I can give it a shot real quick, but yeah, we'll. Is it supposed to be roughly this ish? Yeah, roughly that. You do that, and it gets all wrong up here. Is the issue? Yeah, but nothing's gonna be coming in on that side, so the bottom side's. Fine yeah, if we want to line up the bottom better, we can do it that way. This is pretty close on the bottom, I think. Ooh. Oops, so two people grabbed it once. Eh. Okay, yeah. It's a little better on the bottom if we want to do it that way. That's true, Scott. <laughs> All right. Is it me? Uh, yeah. It is you. You moved five both directions. I did indeed. Okay. Um, the fungus is going to attack. I guess just affect Conrad. That's just the damage roll. Okay. Um, hurricane time. Four. Uh, one mass combats fifteen strength. Um, what? You were, no, that was the that was the wind. That was the wind. Oh, that was the wind. I'm sorry. Oh my god, why does the wind hate me? Oh, the wind is perfect! Um, no. No. Oh, wait, the wind is... oh man, I really can't change the wind much. Wind, why do you hate me? This is the only way to control you! <laughs> okay. Uh, then you roll for the effect, right? Yeah. Flooding! Flood more, flood more. Flood more? Uh, Two flood. Two more flood. Oh boy. Okay. Um. So then we roll for the hurricane length. Yeah, we see if it, we roll to see if we hit the eye. We do nope. not. It's close though. Close. Okay. All right. Any uh, any more evil characters doing One, stuff? One, two, three. Stop yes. trying to bruise over my turn. All the doing all the things is what's happening. I tried. All right, Cap, you're, go you're going down. Might as well. Let's do it. Uh oh. Ugh, bad roll. All right, I'm going to roll a one next just because I rolled four. Oh, wait, no. Wait, I, the, the, you're attacking up. the captain, right? Yes. So the captain needs to roll back. Yes. All right, what do I want to use here? Looks like the revolver, huh? Probably. It's like the revolver. Hey. Yes. So that would be 24. Yeah. Okay, so that's twenty four to seventeen. Yeah, that was that was bad for me. Nice. Um seven I have to deal with? Uh yes. And you have to allocate it evenly between the three parts, as I recall. Okay. Alright, all good? All good for that. Um and then the shark. I'll come up here and just ram. Does that only go to the one tentacle or does it go to all? I thought it went to all. I'm trying to figure out where it is in the rule book. I distributed it, goes, it across. <clears> them. It goes to all. 
Do I well, have no, to do seven to all of them? Yeah. What? It says, where does it say that? that Lowering is... large creature strength, Lowering the strength of each stats. token is yeah. decreased together. If Kraken yeah. loses three strength, head strength and both tentacle strengths decrease by three. Uh, I guess you could assign it to other stats, though. Like you could. Okay, because I right, thought so I yes, had to you, do if it. You to lost, right. If you lost speed, you would have to lose it from both. Ah. Oh. oh no! What happened? Oh no! <laughs> what did you do? How did those? Now does. Will tell. I can't... Yeah, oh you have goodness. to grab these by the edge. Oh, this other thing is only for range combat down here. Okay. All right. All fixed? All fixed. Okay. Shark attack. Nope. Don't bother. I mean, shark right. can always roll. Can always use will to live to re-roll, or will to kill. Like legit, I need to roll a six, and if I need to roll a specific die, is never gonna happen. Yeah. Um. Well, you might as well. You can only spend it once per turn, and you know, it's not a. Because if you get seven, if you get seven floods in here, you sink the ship. So you're incentivized to open up holes for sure. I mean, yeah, but I, I just, I don't know if I can, you know. Um. Well, you know what? Let's spawn something. Are the tentacles able to attack the ship? Yeah, they can attack the ship. They can attack people. Oh, they can attack I the didn't masts. know that. Yeah, I would have been attacking the ship with this I other mean, tentacle. You a can while attack whatever ago. you want. Yeah. I didn't realize that, okay? I'm it's trying okay. to figure it out. That's okay. You only have 13. You can attack anything with anything. Pretty high, right? Yeah. I don't... Yeah, no, the ship... The ship is too hard to damage. I, there's no way I can roll 15 higher than the ship. There's, I mean, there's just that. no way. You could attack the masts. You could attack the boats. Yeah. Well, I... I can't figure out how to get this into a better positioning because my brain doesn't understand not static movement. I mean this... So I guess I could I could put it here. I mean, I... as long as you can count that number of hexes between them, you're fine. Like it doesn't need yeah. to be an exactly straight line. You just need to ma count like you know one, two, three, four, whatever it yeah. needs to be. Yeah, the this I shape is the I, 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 thing. Yeah, I Go think. No, I just think that, like, right now, you guys have positioned yourself in a way that's really hard for me to get him to anything different. Yeah. I mean, you gotta hope for us to hit the eye, and then no movement will happen, and you can just jump on top of us. <laughs> or I can force it. <laughs> because the um, head could attack oh the boat. Otis, we'll have more root in the future. We're just being... We're, we're celebrating Halloween with something spoopy. Roll worse. Okay, that's not. That's at least not a six. So I've got six, sixteen. Oh, really? Yep, yeah, with the revolver. Oh right, I forgot your revolvers. I don't understand how weapons work. If I'm being perfectly honest, they they Jeez. add that number for however the 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 double square is the close combat the the same hex and then every hex away you. You use that whatever number that is. So a distance of one, you use the ten. And a distance of two, you use the seven. I see. Okay. I guess I didn't realize that the revolver actually added strength because I didn't see the add strength underneath. No, it, it doesn't add strength. It just adds the number. Oh, so then he wouldn't have done that damage to. Wait. Now I'm confused. Didn't he roll? And how does that work with? Get, he, 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 well, he for rolled... the revolver plus whatever I roll. And yeah. last time I rolled the six, so yeah, he rolled a six. The six doubled to twelve. Six doubled to twelve. Yeah, but then that still would have been twenty, which 
No, 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 no. The 24. six doubles to 12, and then it yeah. adds to the revolver's number, which in this case yeah. is 12, so it was a 24, 24 or whatever, or it was a 10. Right, but 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 but, the sh but but that's only a strength of 12, because the revolver didn't add strength. No, the revolver adds the number on the revolver according to the hex distance. It doesn't add the strength stat, but it adds the number oh, on the hex. Oh, okay. When it says add strength, yeah. you mean add strength, the strength stat. See, that's when you say add yeah. strength, my brain thinks that's like yeah. the damage it's doing. So that's why I don't understand yeah. what you're saying. Yeah, these numbers are, you could call them like combat power or something. So for the knife, okay. the combat power would be three plus the strength of eight. Got it. Okay. So it's 16 to, wait. Wait, let me put that back. So now I've got, yeah, on this one, I've got 16 and you've got, you've got 16 whatever. and I've got 17 because I rolled a four as well. And my tentacle is 13 to strength. So I will subtract one will to live. Okay. Um, done speed. Okay, then I need to summon something else. This doesn't actually matter where it's going to summon because it technically summons here, but I'm going to reveal it immediately. Uh oh. That looks spoopy. What? It's just a seaweed man. <laughs> oh, not that guy. I <clears throat> a seaweed man waiting <laughs> in the sea. <clears throat> When revealed, he climbs on. You place him on Why edge of the ship. Why can't I do anything? Someone turn off snap points, please. This is this is because Mango added a grid. Mango, why did you hurt me like this? What did I do to you? Well, oh, the grid was for the measuring, but I don't think we much. actually need it. Okay. So what's the... is? Like this edge of ship, or is yeah, it... any any hex that the edge is in, which is a little okay. confusing because it's not lining up well. But you know, it this it would can be, an be edge. any. It can be any of them, can't it? It, it says or any it edge. Be, but does it have to be from this angle? No, it can be. It can be any edge. You can come on the other side if you want. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm gonna do this one. Whatever you want to do. That's enough. Um, I have a movement of four. All right, yeah, I got to start hurting things more. Um, I should put this down here because I want to grab a harpoon. <laughs> That's fine. Clearly, I should always have a harpoon as a seaweed man. <laughs> um, we're going to go one, two and say hello here. And I want to attack the mast. Uh, you grabbed a harpoon. Um. Oh, is that not a thing I can do? You can. That's just an a an action. Oh, uh, I thought it was like in list. Okay. Um. Well, then, before close combat, I can grab items from enemies. You can do what now? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So wait, actually, I want that gun. Yeah, you do. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm coming over here. Uh, there is a stacking limit uh, as an issue. You, you have three oh. in there now. Oh, OK, fine. Yeah, the tentacles basically count as one if they're together, right? Oh, I, that's a good point. Do they? I don't wait, know it anything. Is, it says may stack with all tentacles. Tentacles can move on a ship. May, sure. Uh, May stack with all tentacles, yes. Sure, yeah. We'll say they count as one for stacking limit then. Then is it okay for me to just shove things here? Sure, why not? All right. I'm stealing that gun. Nom, nom, nom. That's, that's not good. You don't need that, right? Um, and then I am going to attack without, uh, but just with my strength, because it's better. All right, I guess I will use oh. my knife. What type so. of captain gives up his gun to a seaweed man? <laughs> gives so up, have, yes, of course. I have 11 course. plus whatever I roll. Hey! Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> so that's 
23. Oh. What did Lily have? I rolled a fucking one because the dice hate me. Spend a will to, to kill. We roll it. Okay. Yeah. I it's mean, funny, but the seaweed man has a will to live. There, there you go. <laughs> I feel better. So that's 27. Oh. Yes. And I had, what did I say, 21? Um, you had your 12 plus 12 your... Plus 12 plus, or so it'd be 23. 12 plus 8 strength plus 3. Yep. So I had 20, 23. And you've got 27? Or 29? Yes. I have 27. 20, 27. So I have to take four more. Mm hmm? Ah. <sighs> Oops. So one, two, three, one. I was at seven. One. How does this go down? Right clicking it. There it goes. All right. I think that's it for me. All right. Um. Don't forget you need to draw one. Oh, right. Thank you. Okay. okay. Uh, so, let's do an event. All right. 15. Glowing algae. Any character in water moves at two speed per water hex for the turn. Cool. Any uh, characters that include, does that include evil characters? Oh, no. Yeah, I think so. Well, we're not outrunning them this turn. Uh, wait, wait, moves at two mean, speed per that's... water hex, right? Yeah, doesn't is, that mean that they get slowed down? Speed? Oh, maybe you're right. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yes, yeah. yeah, maybe we can outrun them. Yeah, they literally yeah. just have two speed. <laughs> okay. Um. So oh, whaler actions. Up, sailors. Well, guys, we've taken on some passengers. Uh. What do we want to do? So, can I shoot things now? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I mean, we still have... Or is now the time to gain speed on the glowing algae? I mean, I think... I think we're doing pretty well on approaching the lighthouse. We have to course correct east-west slightly, but if we can... If we can get that... There, we can maybe ride this out. Yep. I mean, if we go straight now, we'd go seven straight, right? Uh, no. three... Ten. We'd get there. Yeah, we would We would go ten. Which would push the Kraken well behind us, because the Kraken has to expend two to move instead of one. Right. As does the shark. We'd actually get it. We'd actually gain on the shark. Because the shark can only move five this next turn. So do we want to try turning and sailing for ten? I think so. Okay. Huh. All right. Um, it seems like we should basically just repeat last turn then. Have these two yeah. down here try yep. to yeah. uh, fix the ship. You want to roll for that real quick, Badger? Question is, though, like, the problem is our direction's one off, and we're going to get to the end of the track. We'll, we'll figure that out when we get there. <laughs> We'll figure that out when we get there. Yeah. Right, so so if we can put if we can put distance between them and us, I mean that's right. But if we move now and we move ten, we can move five over, and that puts us four away. No, no we're gonna is, we're gonna steer. We're gonna steer. So we're gonna be yeah. But I'm saying, but that leaves us at one away, and we can't. There's no situation where we can move one left or right. Is there? Yeah. We 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 if we we, the man we turn back to this direction yeah. and we move. Two or three, and that'll move us one to the east and one or two to the north. Which we're at okay, the top yeah. of the track, it won't matter. That's called um, beaching the boat, but yeah, sure. Yeah, that is called beaching the boat. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the game doesn't have rules for that, so we're going to take yeah. advantage of it. 
So we're going to <laughs> we're going to roll Tokyo for drifting into the dock for fixing. Yes, roll for fixing. These two guys are <laughs> these two guys are fixing. So. Yeah, they're working together. I don't think I rolled for getting infected last turn. By the way. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah you didn't. Roll for that. Uh, you you handle that while we uh let's see it's who's doing it it's Benny and Wong was... so they had a modifier together of eight onto a roll of four so we remove one that's fine that's something uh oh Conrad's Conrad's quickly dying oh my goodness oh my goodness <laughs> and he drink rum or something. <laughs> MJ, are you left clicking or right clicking? I'm left clicking. Well, you should be right clicking if you want to go down. Oh. <laughs> Everything's great. Everything's great. Okay, so the captain's going to steer. Yeah, I and I else. I figure everyone else just manning and you're just steering. Just mans. Yep. So go ahead and roll. Should Conrad try to gain some composure maybe? No. <laughs> okay. Well, Conrad's probably gonna die. That's fine. Okay. Um, not my captain. <laughs> All right. So that's a one plus our four, so we can shift two, uh, which we only and need we one. We really only we only want to do one, right? Yeah. So there we go. We have to do this whole nightmare shoot. again. I'm gonna take the tentacles off. It sounds like a plan. All right, go for it. Okay. Uh, unlock. And let's try oh. this. Oh. What's that one for? Um, infecting this turn. Uh, Conrad's dead. No, no, that it doesn't happen until the al the algae's turn. You got to turn to man. Oh, okay. Well. I know you want right. to die, but it's not yet. <laughs> no, I don't. I wanted to get to the rum barrels. We need you to man the ship, because. Uh, there we go. With that corrected movement, we're now about to move 10 to the north. Which we may as well do, because I think everyone has acted now. Yep. So... No! One, two, Lily says no! I actually am using my no move. Five, I'm telling you no. Eight. Okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> 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 I am actively just going to say no here. All right, you're using your once per game no move. Yep. That sucks. Yep. <laughs> yep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I play counter spell. Uh, pray to Neptune. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was our ship movement. So, um, evil sinister actions. Okay, uh, let's do the hurricane first. So There's little no little movement. Windows. Do we still steer? I mean, or we we, we go... steered to turn, so I, I think I think we did that part, and we just have to. Yeah, it says after movement has been determined in ship movement, yeah. it's not moved. Yeah. So I think that's a, that final step where we would have actually moved. Nothing happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did I move us back too far? I thought I counted eight when I moved up, but I may have. Moved it in extra space back. Um, I'll decide that later. All right, let's roll for the second part. One. one. That do. Move one. all characters in the he in one. One hex west. West. Oh and boy. Can't push you off the boat. Which way is west? West would be this way. So we need. Do we go up or down, or is it our choice? That's a good question. Actually, it might, it's probably Lily's choice, realistically. So, Lily, why don't you go ahead and move everyone west? Into the ocean for half of you! Uh, the good news is, I think this is still in the ocean, because it's half on the boat. I think it's just on the edge. I don't know if he moves or not. Uh, don't forget to move these two. All characters. It says all characters. Yeah, that's all characters. Okay. Follow the captain. <laughs> I just spill your crew. <laughs> That's a funny one. <laughs> that what about what about the first guy? The guy on the first mass, mass, on the mass B. Where is he? 
I would guess he's. I would guess he's here, and he falls off to here or here. But I uh, would think I don't know. I don't know. He's yeah. in the perch. I feel like he would be safe maybe, in the perch. Maybe he's that's safe. true. He, he the worst place to be. Are you kidding? Well, I mean, the, uh, it's got a it's got a railing. Yeah, the boat didn't capsize. He just like not yet. Anyway, he just stumbled against the 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 edge of the perch. Does the fungus move? That's a good fungus question. cannot be moved. It says it can't be moved. Okay. Oh wait, actually, uh, below decks me... are mo- the yeah. They below need to decks? move as well. Oh, do they? Yeah. Not that it matters. Well, it gets them off the door. It does. And I can move them farther apart from each other. You can. We pretend like that works. All right, and let's see if we where the hurricane's at. Nope. <clears throat> okay, hurricane's still going. Okay. Did the wind change direction yet? It did. Yeah, it's it did. over here now. Um, actually, I'm going to use another one of my actions to move it uh, towards. <laughs> this feels better. There we go. Now you're thinking evil. Yeah, now you're being evil. I wanted to give you guys false hope, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the sea fungus's turn. So um, we need Obviously. Big Jeb and Conrad to do things. Big Jeb needs to see if he gets infected, and Conrad Big needs Jeb's to. Big Jeb's going. Big Jeb hurt. is yeah. Big, Big Jeb has his um, has his sea fungus vaccine. <laughs> uh, and MJ roll Conrad's damage. MJ, we talked about this. Ugh. What are you doing, man? Well, um. Would you like our once per game adrenaline to just null that damage real quick? Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, it only da- it only does it for this turn though. Yes. And it's just me. Yes. Well, the captain would get some back too, right? Or is it? Uh, no, you're right. It is until end of turn. Yeah. Oh, it's just the end of turn. No, oh, and it's either speed or strength. It's not. Yeah, it's not gonna keep you alive or anything. I mean, if I could boost it to my speed, I could run to the rum barrels and recover some will to live. And MJ, then it's too late them. for that. We're in we're an evil turn. You're just taking flat damage right now. Uh huh. <laughs> so so no to the adrenaline. Uh, yeah, it's until end of turn, so it wouldn't matter. It would because like wouldn't yeah. You wouldn't have time. We're, we're at the end of turn. Yeah. I, to be clear, I'm not asking for it. People were offering. Yeah, I was offering, and then I realized it didn't make sense. Which is, you know, my life. <laughs> All it's, right. It's a flat D6, Erzad. At least as we interpreted it. That Yes, that is an interpretation. Okay. Conrad's limping. Good. I have to be four tiles away. Okay. You know, everything um, was so great until she used her no movement power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, this shark's going to come and eat my job. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Nom! Nom! So, so I each mean- each... This is still the two, it costs two to move turn, right? Uh, yes, yeah. Each movement yep. takes up two of your movement, Lily. Okay. So, so that's, that was... that's fine for the shark. The whole yeah. four movement. Okay, so... Um, so little Jeb needs to roll and then die. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to do the kill card, which I don't know oh, how this right. works at all, so... All right. Okay. Uh, I'm not doing the math, but I guarantee you, you die there, right? You're taking at least two damage. I, yeah, I I was attacking with 37, so. Right. So yeah. Okay. So There's no way, little Joe survives that one. What we do? Uh, oh, actually, we have people in the water. We should have drawn water cards. Oh, I don't know what this is. Okay. Wait, should I undo that then? Uh, yes. We should actually do the water cards real quick. Okay. So each person who goes in the water, and I guess you're saying it's these three. Three. I don't actually yeah. know if they're supposed to be in the water if they're on the edge or not, but whatever. We can say they went into the water. It's a uh, hurricane. They're in the water. Yeah, they're in the water. <laughs> uh, let's start with little Jeb. Deep water's no effect. Cool. I, that's not the effect that deep waters have on me. Yeah, right? 
All right, next we're doing it for Mr. Chandu. Hey, okay. dark waters, no, no effect. Oh, dark waters, no effect. <laughs> Fancy. And then one more time for Jebediah. Deep, Deep water. waters, no effect. I am loving this water deck. All right. <laughs> anyway, the shark kills little Jeb. Yeah. Yes. All right, so I get to draw a kill card. Right? Yes, draw a kill card. This one will not be shuffled back in. You're dead. Oh, oh dear. Boy. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, oh, my, that is <laughs> oh my goodness. exactly the right card to draw. <laughs> exactly the right card. Bitten in half. So. I, think, I, think, I think the little Jeb should be placed beneath the shark card. I agree. on the shark yeah, card. Yeah, track the kills. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, boy, I can't be grabbed, though. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so go one, two. Yeah, no kidding, Scott. <laughs> that is some art. <laughs> oh, man, my tentacles can't move very well. Two. I guess, well, if they move onto the ship, does that count as a third move? I would think that would be just a, yeah. Would that, that would be, un be uninhibited, one. I guess? Yeah, once they're on the ship, they're no, no longer inhibited by the, yeah. the nonsense. Bitten in half. I'll just keep this on the ship for the funds. So wait, so what, aside from the fact that the art matches perfectly, what actually says that it... Yeah, uh, uh, the punch and the knife. Bitten in half. <laughs> yeah, you, you check the symbol, you compare it to the symbol of the damage, which, uh, in this case, both matched, so it was... You know, totally. Okay, and how many matches do you need everything to match? Or? No, as long as there's one That's match, fine. the kill goes through. If there had been so, no match, you would be reset to the damage you had before the attack, got it. and you would mm -hmm. not be dead, and you would gain one will to live as a bonus. In this case, I'm extra dead. Yes. Yes. You were just like well, perfectly thematically extra dead. Let's <laughs> let's go ahead and kill Conrad while we're at it. What? I believe in Conrad. I don't. Okay. I believe well, the Kraken. <laughs> I have wait, not anything. Just roll well. Hey, they you and your magic them. fives, right? I know. <laughs> That's you know six. Six to with... seventeen. Uh, six to, yeah, six to seventeen sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guess I wasn't declaring a weapon. What's the range? It's it's hand to hand combat. So there is there's no situation where the musket is not the right one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's so still yeah. Kill him. he'll still die. Well, oh, wait, no, 16. 16. It's yeah. it's 15 to 17 then. Wait, why is it 16? No, no, it's. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hang on. It's 12. It would be 15. It's right. strength, right? It'd be 15. So it's just 15. So minus two. So, yeah, you're out all zeros. Yeah. You're still dead. Draw your kill card. See if you die. I'm attacking with knife, fist, oh, or poison. Okay. Yep, you are faceless. <laughs> that tentacle takes your face. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> I'm just going to take you over here. I can't feel my face from tentacles. <laughs> um, the Kraken itself is actually going to headbutt the ship. Okay. It's time. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, that's no. how it's the ship. So that's gonna be forty. So someone roll for the ship. Oh no, Captain! Oh, oh, oh no. no, Mango! So you rolled Mango. A <laughs> it was the spirit of a uh, little little uh, Jabowski. Oh no! So that's sixteen to forty. So that's a hole. I'm not sure how this works. Yeah, now. you please, create please a hole. Walk me through it. So we increment up the hole track. Uh, and that's going to give us flood counters at the start of each turn. And I'm just checking if it gives us one now. I don't remember. If it's at the start of each turn, it'd be before the event roll, wouldn't it? it it's not. It's, it's If you look at the sequence of play, it's the second thing that happens. Gotcha. Um, I was being colloquial and not specific. Gotcha. How do you... You said something about the strength of the thing, and I'm very confused. All right, it just makes a it just makes a hole. What what are you talking about? You said some. So how where's the hole? How do I do it? The we increment up the hole on the the character seat over here, or the ship. 
Ah, uh, I see, it. I see, I see, I see. Okay. When you said the, the increment up, I was looking at all the tables and I couldn't find anything and I got very confused. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Erzad, okay. it is triple zero that kills you. Um, and then the the seaweed man is going after the captain, but not before stealing something from him. Things did get a whole lot worse, Choco Blue. You don't need that harpoon. Are you sure? I think we need that harpoon. No, you don't need that harpoon. All right, I'm going to attack with the harpoon. <laughs> And I'm going to use the knife. All right. So four, eight numbers are hard. OK. 23. Go ahead. Oh, I have. Erzad, I think it's rather abstract. 15. I think the idea is if there's a hole, the tentacle can just be anywhere in the galley, maybe. All right, so 23 minus 15 is eight. Yes, it is. The rules are pretty clear about there not being a, a physical location about it. Can I use a will to live, or is that only on the attack? Uh, what is this? I would imagine you could use a will to live. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do it. Four is about as good as I, so I have to get rid of eight things here. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Chugule, all of the Emperors of Eternal Evil games have this black metal aesthetic, which is, you know, I love it, but I understand I like it's it. very divisive. The kill cards are oh, more graphic than I anticipated, but I love The kill them. cards are great. They're so great. Uh, these aren't even really the graphic ones. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited. You know, Erzad, it's funny you say that. I am wearing a Morkborg shirt. Oh, right. I need to spawn a thing, don't I? <laughs> I mean, you don't um, have to. No, I think I'm required to. You are required to. Two. Okay. Uh, they're going to spawn in secretive like. Ooh, secret, secret. Uh, one, and you're remembering that if you have the sea witch, you must choose the sea witch. Or if you have a neutral, you must choose the neutral, right? Correct. I am, I am, I am doing that, yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. The rule book is pure art. Five, six. Especially the cover, I really like the um, cover. Two, Are you talking about Sea Evil or Merkborg? Sea uh, Evil. Actually, I'm gonna leave it. I think it's true for both of them. <clears throat> Just in re reply to Chugulai. We have we've got the guy up in the perch still. Lily, yeah, so. that requires an action to be done. Yeah, I, I just wanted to force him to take that action instead of helping doing anything else. Is it an action? I thought the spyglass thing was a free. No, it's, I thought it was an action. Garrick? Uh, right here. Spyglass, will, and once per game abilities are not actions. Well? Oh, and it's anywhere on the map, so it kind of doesn't even matter. Yep. So well, but it, 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 it's not done until the whaler turn. Right. And we don't have to reveal. Like, it, we can choose to do it. I think I'm still just going to put it here and let you guys deal with that. It's fair. Oh, wait. Half movement, half movement, half Oh, half movement, movement. yeah. So it can only go here. OK. And this is accounting for the glowing algae, right? Yeah, she just yeah, corrected that's, it. Yeah, that's why I kept saying half movement over and over again. Is it just because the algae is like really pretty and you have to stop and look at it? Basically. That's, because otherwise, I, why emphasize the glowing? It could just be thick algae. I, I was assuming True. it was just sort of like that that scene in a movie where there's sort of a magical effect from the glowing algae. Mm, okay, okay. I mean, what I'm sort of imagining is like that moment from Raiders of the Lost Ark where, you no, know, it's at the end where like, okay, Bob I think I did everybody. He's like, it's beautiful. <laughs> and then right, it goes yeah. terrible really quickly. I think I did everybody, so you're all good to go. Okay. Uh, let's do an event. 16. Uh, wind change. We roll d6 to change wind direction. No. Ooh, yes. Five. Are you kidding me? Why? I can't control this wind ever. It's never going in my favor. I hate everything. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we have a hole. So we add a water rising, a flood token, uh, and then it's whaler turn. 
Should I run away and try to to? We don't really need to steer right now. We don't need to steer. But we it we it would help for speed, right? Um, we want speed. We still want. Speed. Well, if we want speed, speed, we should just pray to, pray to Neptune. Neptune. Yeah. yeah. To get it behind our backs. Yeah. Again, and basically do our move that we wanted to do before, except now everything's worse. Yeah. Yeah, so if we pray to Neptune, we'll go straight ahead. I think that we should do that. Use would that be better Neptune. than would that be better than um uh maybe going slightly right this turn? I don't know. What would our I guess it depends on how much we can move. And how well now, can these guys climb back on board? Yeah. We need a rope, and it's yeah. three, plus three movement. Is that their only way back on board? We have to throw them a rope? It says move water into ship, need rope. Ooh. Okay. Or we abandon them. So, <laughs> so Fiery Path can only really help one. Yeah. Unless, I mean, attached to boat or character. Yeah. So how fast are we moving right now if we don't do anything with the sails? If we don't do any anything with the, the mast or the helm, we would be moving three, mm, uh, three north. Yeah, three north. Which, I guess if we were to steer and turn, we could make that uh, two north, one east. Which is what we... Uh, which is what we want, right? Well, so, I yeah. mean, we've got to get one east eventually. Yeah, eventually. But if we get if we get online, then we can just... We could also pray to Neptune, shift the wind behind us. That would make us be moving five from just the wind before doing any manning or anything. And that would be north. So, I mean, we could, if we, if we gun for it, if we man and, sh and pray to Neptune to shift the wind, we could maybe, uh, how many people do we have? Let's see, one, if we do one of the searing, that's at six. Uh, do we have anyone else on board, really? Well, a couple we still got the, the guy up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who maybe we bring down? Yeah, so that would be... spotting? So that's a bonus of two. Yeah, so this can be revealed now, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. If we want to. Well, it doesn't cost an action, so why not reveal it? Uh, cause maybe it would, it, it might teleport the monster somewhere. Yeah. Oh, I see. Might like place it. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe just it could be like the be. fungus. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause we need, we need him down. We might not want there, to see right? the evil. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fiery pass should probably get Jebediah back on the boat. I would think. Well, okay, so if we if we were to gun for it as hard as we can, I think we can make it to this space of the track. Uh, so then, yeah, then I, I think we need to run. I think we need to run. If if we just gun for it, I think we can get there, yeah. and then maybe we next turn we can do uh, a right, steer but... and move one one and win. Zebediah and Shandu are just gone then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they went overboard. <laughs> Their problem. Or I mean, MJ. <laughs> I know someone should maybe consider getting a, in a boat. I think possibly. What, what 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 good would that would do? I don't know. Just putting it out there. <laughs> the evil sees you, MJ. Which side are you on? <laughs> um. Well, since you're killing off well, a second character, know. he's on my side now. Do we want to roll? Do we want to roll this right away? Roll what? What right away? Oh, um, the flood. Yeah, I guess it was a question of if we wanted to try to bring them above board to help Hard out to yeah there's rope yeah maybe we should because we're only going to add another water ship. right and it takes seven to sink yeah i mean maybe we bring them up 
If we bring them up, we can... Uh, yeah, if we get everyone involved, we can add plus three to our movement. If we pray to Neptune, that would be giving us eight, which would get us all the way there on the north-south track. Yeah. That might be the way to go. I th I think so. I mean, I think, getting within one, so I think getting within one is fine as well, though, right? Because next turn, we, you know, if we only need one movement in each direction, that should be easy to accomplish, right? Yeah. Well, hopefully. Yeah. We'll see how the, how the hurricane cooperates. I guess, better not. I guess the idea of going eight north would be to help get the, the enemies away from us. Yes. Yeah. That too, yeah. Because if we go like one, two, three, four, we go one, two, three, whatever. We go one, two, I don't remember how much fiery path has, but that's all we need there. And we bring down the other guy. We now can... Yep. Uh, bring Beg Jeb over, or Captain Burke over. Yep. And Neb can move away to not get infected. Yeah. To man, still man that mast. So that gives us one, two, three, bonus. We pray to Neptune to shift this. Yep. Yeah. So let's cross that out. Thank you. Um. I don't know. We could have actually. We could have Big Jeb go through our rope, maybe. Or how much movement does Big I Jeb have? He's... Big Jeb only has three movement. Oh. <laughs> nope. We could have Big Jeb actually come up to wait. man ca mass. Big B. Jeb. Oh wait, you have a Big Jeb. Wait, we could use the adrenaline to give someone to give someone plus five. Oh, that's true. Well, I was thinking if Big Jeb comes up here to man mass B because it had three movement. You said. Yeah. So that's that's fine. Then we could actually have Fiery Path throw a rope to somebody. Me. Shandu? Yes. Sure. I thought Fiery Path... Yeah, I don't remember. Do you not have there. to... Wait, do you not have to... Um... He doesn't need to, to man the ship? No, because Hamish and, and Big Jeb are getting B, and then Wong and Benny are getting A. Got it. Okay. So I'm that of seven, so we can actually like get out of the way and come over here as well. So who do we want to save? Jebediah or who's a better Shandu can use both knives, so Shandu's a better stabber. <laughs> Jebediah can sing sea shanties. Ooh, sea shanties. Mm. That's actually pretty cool, too. And he's more durable. Not that it... Why don't we get Jebediah? I would get Jebediah. Let's get Jebediah. I mean, if you do if you do Jebediah, MJ is out of characters. We're a team, right? Well, if we were in person, what would happen is I would actually just help control evil characters. Yeah. Yes, join me. <laughs> It's okay. Um, Chandu won't be dead yet. But I'll remind you that Chandu is the only one who can do two weapons. This is true. We decided long ago that we're runners, not fighters. <laughs> <laughs> we decided that. All right, let's go ahead and roll um, uh, a rope toss. Uh, not to me. Y'all are cowards. <laughs> You're damn straight. All right. Um, so I'll go ahead and roll. I thought you were sailors to inhale the fickleness. Four plus three. All right. I think that means we're a success. Um, attached moves with attached can be climbed for three movement per hex. Okay. So there's a rope. On Jebediah, and Jebediah has some movement. Yeah, so Jebediah can crawl right back on. So I think that's fine. And then I think we just go to ship movement. Yep. Okay. 
Uh, so yeah, we manned everything again. So that's our four plus the five because we're in a hurricane and it's behind us. Uh, so that is we nine. Didn't everything. C is not manned. Mast C. C. Um, <sighs> that's fine. We had one extra movement this way anyway. Yeah, so. so two two masts and the and the helm is three. All right, that's that's plus fine because we were eight the... away. So. so how much? So how far back did you move me? Yeah, it matters. For, it matters. Oh, for the that's monster. true. It matters for Lily. So we move eight. Okay. Thank you. One, two. Y'all fuckers flew. We're trying. We're trying so hard. And doesn't Mr. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Chandu also moves. Hey, look, we can still throw a rope to him. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, right. A plague on all your could houses. He have, could he have swum during <laughs> his turn? On you. Oh yeah, he could have swum during his turn. So yeah, you you could you could have swum up a few hexes and and one hex because you move. It's three to move in water. Oh yeah, so you, you could be right no there. No one was gonna throw me a rope. Yes, yeah, so we, maybe we throw your rope this turn. Maybe a tentacle gets me this turn. Well, maybe you don't have enough people to man the masts this turn. Maybe you all die. Are you, are you just... <laughs> <laughs> There's no bitterness MJ's there. Evil. Maybe you evil. all get what you deserve this turn. <laughs> all right, let's hurricane time. Yeah, yeah, let's find out. Let me take your turn. That's a two. Thank you. Oof. Ugh. Finally. Three, 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 three. That's also not a three, two. That's a two. All right. Everyone goes over the other side. Oh, no. Is that really what that is? <laughs> One hex east. Everyone. <laughs> Yeah, put fire path here. And the and captain's captain, go. and go this way. All right. Does and the guy in the water move, or is just people on the on board? Just people on board. Yep. And the hurricane is still going, still raging forward. All right. Oh, we should have added. We should have added a water. Oh yeah. Right? No, no, you guys did that during the water, right? Oh, we phase. did that. Yeah, and then we took care of okay. one. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. No, maybe no, we, we didn't. didn't. No, we, we, we didn't add one then. We yeah, we, we yeah, we one. didn't add one because we brought everybody up. Yeah, yeah good catch. Oh, you're right. Never yep. mind. Okay, cool, cool. That makes my life easier. So it looks um, like Gavin, you're about to get done over by the boat, I believe. Well, uh oh. Uh, well, that's where his water, that's where his though. head is then. Yes. Mango, uh, I think the implication is that the hurricane is rocking the boat. Um, no. Yeah. When the, when it reveals, so I don't think Chandu should move. Oh. oh, I could have, I could have done that last turn. Oh well. I was. Erzad said that he did. The whale head. I mean, it's it's kind of open for interpretation. Like the the card says, move all characters, but I don't know. I guess that that would that would mean all the monsters and everything as well, which I guess could also be true. The whale head's going to attack the ship. A yield pissed off whale. Yield pissed off whale. All right, 50, 52. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, the no. whale had attacks at 40. Let's be real. It's always going to do a lot. Oh, boy. Uh, versus versus the ship, you said? Versus the ship. All right. Who wants to roll for the ship? I'll do it. It's yeah. Not me. I talked about last time. That's how we got a hole. Scott, that feels very hey. high. Is it high enough? Uh, no. It's 27. It's still 15 more. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Gain a, gain we gain a, a hole. hole. We gain a hole. Oops. Is that bring water in? 27 yeah, is an eye. Thanks, Scott. <laughs> Scott, you make me happy. <laughs> um, what did he say? He said, hmm, 52 is high. Hmm, 27 isn't high. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, does that hole cause flooding? Uh, not it immediately. Will. It's at the start of the st it's at after the event. Okay. Well, the, the first one did, so I got confused. No, the, the first one did oh, it during no. the water rising. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, 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 okay. Um, okay. The ship is going down. The ship is going down. But, We're in so much we trouble. May, we may make it. We may make it. <laughs> we might. All right, I'm going to use one of my one-time abilities to teleport. Oh, no. 
What are you teleporting and where are you teleporting to? Kraken! Oh no. <laughs> oh! Uh. One, two, three. Let's just put them here because they could attack the mass, but the ship's going down, so it doesn't we matter. We do have a dodge available. We do. We we, we probably need it. <laughs> yep. After how? Okay, okay, okay. That's oh, fine. can include attack on ship itself. On ship, yeah. Do we want to have yeah, dodged yeah. that whale attack? Or would you like to dodge I don't know. Attack? I don't know that it matters because we're either going to Yeah, we're either going to make it or not. You I have mean. a point. Kraken! The head's attacking. Oh wait, I should have finished the Oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot. <laughs> I yeah. need I should have finished this one, the tail. The tail's attack before I went to the Kraken. Shouldn't just I? just make that the whale attack. Okay, the whale's attacking the ship because it can tail whip. Yep. So I'm going to actually change where the Kraken teleports to. I whip my tail back and forth. Whip my tail back and forth. Because that's a three, so that means that the <laughs> ship is going to sink on water rising, right? Is it? Or does it, need to, does it need to go more than three? We only have three more tokens, so... Uh, yeah, I, th I think that's correct. I think we are going to lose at water rising. Okay. Well, cool. we can dodge... Dodge that tail attack. Oh yeah, we can dodge. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll use a dodge on one of those to to okay. prevent the hole. Okay. Then cracking ahead. Okay. Just don't make a hole this way. Hey. Unless you want to uh, use a will to kill to reroll that. I want to use will to kill to reroll that. There we of go. Of course better. you did. <laughs> That's a 40. Uh, that would be 40. Yes. Uh, the seminal for the ship. Yep. Yep. That's going to be a hole. Right? 15. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, a hole. That's a hole. All right. That decides so three it. Three holes. So wait, uh, the ship has to make it? No. Uh, well, no, the, the ship is going to sink. Yeah, so we're going to have to figure that out. I'm. We have to get in the lifeboats, is what you're saying. Yeah. Is there any event that could save us? I don't know. All right, let me see how sumps. If you want to, if you have more actions, work on killing us. No, I am, I am. That's why I'm trying to figure out how to do. All right, um, I'm going to, uh, there's too many people on board. All right, you go and attack that man and take away his gun. Nice. You don't get any weapons, Captain. Yeah, I think I'm. Oh, this harpoon's long. gone because I used it. I'm not long for this world, I don't think. All right, so let's see what the attack roll is for that. Two plus the three plus the fifteen, so twenty. And what do I get? Just the strength. Just your your fists and a roll. So you got six. So you need to. Can I is, can I use this three roll or? Yeah, you can use it to re-roll. Just spend one to to use it. I may as well, because he's going to die. Other Well, yeah, I'll do it. Come on, six. Nope. Now that's worse. That's worse. So he goes all the way down, but the, or I'll, we keep it and then draw a kill card, right? Basically, yeah. Um, And this will kill on a fist only. So shuffle him. Uh, yep. What you got? Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Why are they always all of them? <laughs> the blood oh. plankton, that's why it's glowing. Yeah, that's why oh, it's glowing. Oh, that's why it's glowing. I see. All right. I like that one. That's a good art. Yeah. Captain like was claimed by the seaweed man. Um, the whale's gone. Fine. The kraken's gone. Everything's that's fine. Gone, that's gone. The shark. The shark's turn. <laughs> What evil? Get out of here with evil. <laughs> um, I didn't no. even notice an evil. 
<laughs> Mr. Shandu, you're being eaten by a shark. Oh, that's why you're going to go in the water. Oh, <laughs> 37. Um... With my knives, I guess. <laughs> Thrashing in the waves? I love it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what. Mm. 20. It's only 14, but... All right. <clears throat> Shoot, did it work? What's going on? You guys hear me? What's yeah, up? I can hear you. Yep. Oh, okay. I thought there was like a lag or something going on because it was not shuffling. I mean, you rolled a four, right? So you that, rolled, should be, yeah, that should be it's 14, 17 so total? You have 17? Because he, he, he rolled a four. He knives. added both knives and he adds his strength. Right. So six plus seven is 13, plus, plus four, four is 17. Seven, yeah. Yeah, so 17 minus 32 is a number. 15? That sounds right. So you're not dead yet. You're just very close to dead. You can leave three oh, somewhere. Yeah. But, Lily, you rolled 37, not 32. Oh, is it 37? So you take yeah. 20 damage. So he oh. yeah. Ah, there you go. Ah, I can't That's... math. Thanks, well, Pat. I... Thank you, Pat. No no, it's okay. That's why I thought I could math. Okay. Um, I just That's... also, at some point, Small note, Garrick, like, point out the rule book moment with the math. You know the moment. Okay. Do you know the moment in the rule book, Garrick? What do we... Oh, we're in the rule book where there's a drawing of somebody with a gun to their head saying, yeah, not math, for like, God's not sake, math. no more math. <laughs> <laughs> not to show Please, off no more math. the whole rule book <laughs> on stream, sake. but I can show off that little... That'll do anyway, it. Well, this is the kill card I drew, so... Hey, Squidhead! <laughs> Yes, nom, squid nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Which I really love. Squid Ed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then I have to spawn something in. Where are we spawning it? Six. It's, it's over here. Yep. Um, let me see how this works. I'm going to try it. Uh, I'm going to just reveal this. And I'm not totally sure how this works, so you're going to have to help me. How do I do a tidal wave? I have no clue, man. Um, Perfect! Speed six. Oh, my good. Speed si wave size is entire hex line. Move forward. Cannot turn. Turn without <laughs> moving. Or <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> roll based on how wave hits. Roll d6 three to six cap size. Roll d6 six cap. What? What does this <laughs> mean? Is card of all. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to kill everyone in the water by asphyxiation. That's all that's going on. <laughs> oh my god! I don't even. Know I want it to, to be this. I want it to be this hex line, but I'm not even sure if I can dictate that or what the hell is happening. What is what is tidal wave? How do words work? <laughs> okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I don't think it's going to. Yes, I don't your think it's going to reach no, us if you reveal it right now. Oh, okay. So I have to do it. So it is from this location. Well, yeah. I mean, it spawns in here. Like it. It's it's a normal. Well, it's a normal shit. Okay. You know what See, I mean? I guess that was, that's where my confusion was because half of them have special weird spawn things. Well, this one so doesn't. I wasn't sure. They, they would say if they have one. They, they say they have a when revealed. This one doesn't oh, have a when okay. revealed. See? Okay. Sh you see, I saw nothing. Also, Lily, you don't want it to come up from up here like you originally wanted. That's, Why not? I don't think. Because the tidal wave is like a line. Like, what it looks like from the art, it's like a line like this. Yeah. That's going that way yeah so you want to hit it on the side so it capsizes the hex line would be in any direction gotcha. right it's a line hex of line. six that travels across is what it seems like mm -hmm. uh, but so, it can be... so if it goes this way the hex line doesn't go this way 
So if X, goes, Y, and will go this way, this way, or up and down. Well, still, I, right. what I'm saying, though, is just like, it's like a line of six, so like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it travels in that direction towards yeah. the boat. And depending okay. on the angle it hits the boat, so, it's easier to capsize. If I more. did it like on this line, and it would, it would go this way. Okay, okay. Um, and that's when you roll. Yeah. Gotcha. And it just like moves in that direction, and it moves at speed six, so... Well, I revealed it actually, so I'm just gonna go with it. Um, and then it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Actually, no, because the boat's gonna just sink. I don't care about the boat. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to spawn whatever else you have. All right, I'm going to spawn whatever else I have. Yeah, uh, you, you really is... should place the counter first. Don't you keep doing this backwards. So you don't have I'm to reveal sorry. immediately. I'm sorry. All right, I will spawn this in here. Uh, you guys can't reveal it this time. And it's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, if the, I think if it gets within a certain range of the boat, it auto reveals no matter what, oh, even right, if we're right, not. Right, right, right. It's, it's, it's five within the boat. I think so. So I'm trying to I find it. Here is safe. Revealing evil 10.3.1. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'll just I'll just reveal it. Evil so must one, two, reveal three, four, if spyglass is used or if counters seven, within five. Eight, yeah, I'll just reveal it. That's not it though. Should be it's ahead. the serpent. <laughs> Hello. And then the middle of the body goes this way. <laughs> Actually, it's going to go this way. I want to be between you and your destination. That's fair. Uh, you fair. might get rammed, but we're going to sink anyway, so. <laughs> I think I'll, I think you guys sink before you get Yeah, we're going to sink before so. we ran. So I'm, I'm okay with this. Okay. Are you all done? All done. Oh, I uh, should draw my thing. Let's do an event. 33. Oh. Spooky wind weather! <laughs> Remove clear and fog weather. Uh, plus one, minus one to wind direction. Uh, minus one speed for characters outside. And damage roll results double if on fire. Okay. That's not the event I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I thought that was maniacal laughter. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's really close to it. 35 is maniacal laughter. I know. Yeah, that would have been funny. I would have been very happy. Um, okay. Uh, water rising. So we have three holes. We place the last three, which means the ship sinks. Uh, do, I had this opened in the rule book, but what it basically is going to do is... The plus side is we don't have to worry about turning the ship anymore. It's true. It's true. Um, let's see. If all seven flood tokens are in the galley, or if ship has capsized due to wave, the ship piece is taken off the map. All characters and boats on deck are placed in water, where they were on deck. Any character in galley draws from kill oh. deck. Oh, shouldn't these guys have done the water card? Yes, they should have. Long, long ago. I'm sorry, I should have. I just realized that. Uh, there's a water thing. Who's that one against? Benny, because obviously. No, I don't know. Oh, we'll go top sorry, down. That's against Big Jeb. That's against Big Jeb? All right. Yep. So first one for them, second one for me. Uh, I can use my revolver, right? Yeah. Even Logically, I'd say no, but game-wise, yes, absolutely. OK, so seven plus, what was that? Seven plus? Two, so nine to my 15. So yeah, so I'm good. All right, so who else? Need Benny needs to draw. Yes. There it's you go. Safe. No effect. OK. Anyway, back to capsizing the ship, or sinking the ship. Back to sinking the ship. Uh, so we removed the boat piece. Uh, anyone who was on the deck gets placed in water where they were. 
Any character in the galley draws from the kill deck, and if it's a water result, they drown. Uh, and if there's no water result, they're placed in the water near the others. Every surviving character takes three damage. Um, there's nobody in the galley, so that's not a problem. Cool. Uh, so in that case, um, let's see, for the advanced rules, do they all need to roll draw from the water deck? Let me check. <clears throat> what happens with the boats? Do the boats also sink? They are, they're in the water now. All characters and boats get placed in the water. So you can you can get to the boats. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, we're doing the the full advanced game with the water deck. So everyone needs to pull from the water deck for each character now. Okay. This won't take an hour at all. <laughs> Curse of Shandu. All right, let's I don't know work our way down. So let's start with Fiery Path. Oh no! Oh god! That looks bad. Why did I go back to being mute? <laughs> I'm trying to understand the game. Water well, chaos. Pulled okay, underwater. Um, draw kill card. If water, then death. Oh, it. cool. Let's oh, see. Do I mix it first? It doesn't kill? matter. It, it okay. just as long as the discard isn't shuffled in. Hey, it's fine. That's not. That is not water death. Yeah. Which one is water death? Is that um? It'll have a water symbol. Yeah, I'm just curious. I'm curious what the or, water symbol is. Sorry, it'll. It's like that mouth. I think. Oh, that's Jebediah's that's next. the mouth. Okay, okay, okay. Jebediah. Uh, yeah. Shuffle that water deck. Oh my oh, god. Oh no! What is this? <laughs> Sinking mess. Make three attack rolls versus nine strength. Any kill card kills. Holy moly. I love this title. Oh, Deep terror god. beyond human. Oh, there it is. That's there's Jebediah. there's like multiple titles on this thing. <laughs> I know. Deep, <laughs> deep terror beyond human comprehension. Perfect. Which is accurate to that uh, thing. Against nine strength? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's ten a two as a one. Oh god. I think I take one damage. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, I take one. Right, because seven, three, one. Yeah, that checks out to me. Ten versus nine, eleven. Three, Twelve. Yeah. We'll get there in a second, Erzad. There we go. First, we gotta see if people survive. Same thing. Cool. And then one more time. Oh, way worse. So Oof. that's three damage. Okay. Uh, who's up next? Wong. Yeah, Wong and Hamish need to do it, right? Yep. yep. Here's Wong. Uh, cold water, no effect. Hamish. It's just chilly over there. Meanwhile, right next door is a is a terror beyond human comprehension. <laughs> water thing. Bites character. Combat seven strength. All right. Uh, Hamish has the knife, I guess. Sure. So it's going to have seven plus... Uh, Whatever the first is will be Hamish. The second will be the monster. Hey, look at that. Hamish is fine. Wait, the first is Hamish and the second is the monster. Is that what you said? Oh, yeah. That's, sorry. I, I keep looking at the board top down. <laughs> no, look at the chat. Look yeah, at the look chat. at the chat. All right. That's not good. So that's going to be 12 versus uh, 21. Uh, yeah, so I take nine. Wait, 12 versus 21? 6 is double. Yeah. 12 plus 7 is 19. Uh, we can't right. math. I can't math. Yeah. <laughs> 19. 19 okay. versus... I was, I was like, am I going crazy? Versus 12. You're not going start, crazy. We just don't know how to do it. Like I understand the game and people are... <laughs> no, we just are dumb. We're just dumb. Okay. Uh, you got this I'm getting math. very tired. Very tired. Um... <laughs> So yeah, 19 versus my 12, so that's seven. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. Uh, yep. And do, do, do. now we're on to nobody. That's it. 
Because these two were, were already in the water, weren't they? Oh, they that is correct. Water. Yep. Okay. So that's that taken care of. Uh, now, uh, in order to advance to the lighthouse, we need to get everyone in boats. And whichever boat has the highest movement, uh, and I'll remind boats move based on the number of people in them or something like that. Uh, I, I don't think it's their combined strength. I think it's the number of people. Um... Uh, whoever, whichever boat has the highest movement is the new center of the map, the new anchor that everything is around and is the one that matters for getting to the lighthouse. So if we can get everyone into a boat and then sail it as hard as we can, we can maybe do this. I don't feel like people believe me. I mean... Oh, I was, I was, I was emphatically agreeing with enthusiastic <laughs> overtones but I, <laughs> I mean i'm hoping you die so that's true all right well that was uh the water rising so now we have our actions i feel like the fungus is just not on the board anymore yeah that's I feel like fair it sank with the ship i feel like it sank with the <clears> ship too fair. yeah it was yeah it was, it was lodged to the ship yeah all right so we basically just need to swim towards these boats? Yes. Okay, and the boat speed is determined by strength of the people on board? Uh, each character in a boat provides one movement uh, for the so boat. You just need to get people on board. Yeah. Except for this one's got a guy on it already. That's true. <laughs> maybe, maybe let's not pick that boat. Does he, does he help us row? No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So yes. That, yes. Just in the opposite like, direction. The swim? It requires three movement to move one space in the water for us. Yes. So Jeb is just going to move this way and hope to pick up a boat when other people get on it. Yeah, well, that doesn't work if nobody goes and gets a boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I only have three movements. So I can only move one hex. Uh, Wong isn't any better. Do, can uh, what's Hamish who, who have? Can move? Is there still a stacking? No. Five is the highest we have. The there, I think there's still a stacking limit. Then he can move one. That's all he's got. Everybody can move one, so that's yep. all we've got. So do we all move towards the boats? Did Badger, the boats I think your mic's away from your mouth again. Yeah, you move your mic away. Okay. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So do the boats? Are the boats going to drift at all on their own, or do they have to get on? Before we can even move at all. I think that one. Okay, so we all need to swim towards the boats. Yes. By one hex. And then horrifically die. Well, I'm going to take an action. Can So, as an action, may drink from bottle to return two stats. Can I boost my stats beyond what they originally were? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I think, like, the only time that's ever allowed is Will can go above if you, like, survive okay. things or things like that. Well, or if I drink from my bottle, I can drink whiskey. I still have that with me. <laughs> so I think I return guess, is meant to imply it doesn't go above your max. That's what I read it as, yeah. So do you need to get... Do you need to get four people on a boat to go one? or No, you, four people on a boat would move four. Four. Oh, so we just need one person to get... <laughs> we just need one. If one person can make it. <laughs> it's only five turns away. All right. She can't kill all of us. Well, she can kill all the boats. I can't all right. kill all the boats. Yeah. So Jeb is moving here. And Jeb is going to drink from his bottle to restore his will to live. I mean, I think we can just move everyone one space. I don't think we need to make this a big deal. <laughs> I mean, before we move, can he sing a shanty to give everyone a plus one? Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Which means so Hamish, as he does it. Hamish can move allows, too. Yeah, that allows Jebediah, Fiery Path, and Hamish to all move too. Yeah. Nice. See, this is why we saved oh, Jebediah. Adrenaline. Adrenaline. We do have adrenaline. I don't know if it's worth using yet. Because you can't yeah, get to the boat this you turn. You could get one person on a boat and then we can move one space. It only gives it plus say, five to a it stat. It does say up to full capacity, so I don't know if we can go past it on the. the Jebediah's ability. How oh, does it say that? Where up to full capacity? Um, let's see, Hamish had a base of seven. No, five. No, I I can't read. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. Yep. Dang. Uh, the max is five for all of them. 
Dang. Bunch of slow pokes. Shucks. All right. Um, we did, yeah, we just move everyone one, I think. I don't think we need to belabor this. I'm not going on yeah, the two. If, with the, with the adrenaline, someone could move three. And that's no, the enough. adrenaline's just giving you plus five to the stat, which would give you an extra... To either oh, I guess that would give a movement of three total. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, we're, we're not close enough for that to matter yet. I think we move a little a little closer, and then we see who's alive, and then we make them dash for it. Okay. I don't know. That's my thinking. I mean, well, I guess you can you can still attack from the water. Yeah. I I don't know that Big Jeb racing to to share a boat with a seaweed man is better than slowly swimming toward a safer boat. You know what I mean? Bro, I can't stack. I can't stack with you anyway. No, I was saying if we use the adrenaline on Big Jeb because you picked it up as a demonstration. Oh, he well, he wouldn't be able to make it because he already moved one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have no ship movement, so we're on to evil actions. I have a question. Yes. And I actually raised my hand in real life. Um, oh, God, I'm tired. Uh, can the tail hit things that it's on, or is it only used to whip onto the ship deck and or boats? I would read that as it still has normal, like... Uh, it can still attack in place. Okay. I would think so. Yeah. That, I would think that's just in addition to... What, yeah, me too. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's... Out of these two, who can swim faster? Uh, Hamish. All right, Hamish, you're going down. Hamish is getting tail whipped. Okay. Hamish is rolling. All right. Uh, 28. Ham that would be 28. Versus <laughs> Hamish's... Uh, uh, what do you roll? A four? So that'll be nope. 13, because there's no reason not to use the harpoon right now. Uh, 13 to 28? Yep. That's 15. 15. Uh, Hamish is... is a Pulling from the kill deck. Hamish, yeah, Hamish might be dead. Here we go. Let's find out. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Hamish is not dead. Exquisite is corpse. Uh, no, oh, wait, that looks like it has everything that's on a, it. That has a fist. It does not have everything. There's not a knife or the other one. There's no, there's a knife. knife. There is a knife. Yep. Oh, that is everything. Holy crap. I cannot see. Yeah, that's everything. Well, it's blended in with the... It is. All right. Hamish is dead. He's an exquisite corpse. Oops. No, no. I just wanted Hamish. Hamish belongs to the well. We'll test out the uh, stack exploder on this. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the head of the whale is attacking ship D. At 52. Uh, I mean, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit, Pat. <laughs> 52 to 11. Cool, cool. That seems to be boat D's that is, death. That is a very dead boat. Does the boat have to pull a kill card? The boat does not have to pull a kill card, I don't think. Unfortunate. I'm going to check that, though. Does the head have to be on the boat to attack it, or... Or is adjacent good enough? I, was, I thought it would be adjacent because it can't technically get onto a boat, but... I it's think like it would, you couldn't get onto the ship. I think it would be sharing the space with the boat, basically. Noel says, when, when revealed, can place adjacent to ship or boat. And it's, that's pretty... That's well, pretty then you, um, well, then you can move. You know what I mean? I'm confused. Because like, I don't see how the ship is different from the... The boat is different from the ship. Well, the difference is the ship would be... had The ship was half in hexes. Like, you were... You were in a hex that was half the boat, half the water. You know what I mean? Okay. Well, then I probably couldn't have killed Hamish, which makes me sad, because the tail would have been over here. So that would be Benny is Benny. dead. Benny is dead. <laughs> and I guess we can bring Hamish back. Okay. <sighs> I guess. All right, we're going to go one, two... One, 
is yeah. We're taking out that tile. Um, so let's do one tentacle. Let's start with fiery path. No. Okay. The tentacles aren't as bad as everything else I have. <laughs> Five, uh, twelve. So I have a fourteen base. This would be a great time for a six. <laughs> hey! Damn it, Pat! <laughs> All right, 28 to 13, so that's 15 that I have to die. Um, Doesn't this go oh. on the large animal table or whatever? What? Uh, or is that at range? That's at that's range. range. That's at range. That's at range, yeah. yeah, yeah no, okay. this is just hitting me. Uh, one, two... What was the what was the number again? Twenty eight to thirteen, you said, or no, to fifteen. Because I think it's so been take, thirteen. Okay. Thirteen. Uh, right, you had thirteen. You rolled three, six. No, you take twelve damage because you rolled okay. three. Okay. Oh right, 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 right. Okay. Um, uh, its will to kill is growing very little. That's fine. Uh, other tentacle against Jebediah. Well, this one's gonna go much worse. Uh, maybe not. Just roll another six, Pat. That's the strat, right? That's true. No. Unfortunate. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use one of those will to live just to see if we get better. Yeah, reroll it. Uh, it's worse. Nope. It's worse. It's fine. So, 12? Uh, 12 to 16, so you just lose four. Uh... Makes sense. Uh, and then the head is going to attack ship A. Okay. We're running out of ships quick. Or boat A. So that's 32. To someone on a roll for the ship. To 11, so boat A is dead. Yep. Claimed by the Kraken. Um... One, two, four, five, six, seven. I really want to kill Hamish. I can tell. <laughs> Hamish is going to try to get eaten by a shark. Okay. <laughs> 29. Ooh. Hamish is going to use a will to live to reroll that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be, um, 14 to the 29, so that's 15 damage. Yep, draw a kill card. Yep. Chum. That'll do it. That'll do it. Farewell, Hamish. About time that shark did some damage. Uh, yeah, the, shark, the shark's already I mean, killed three other people. I, I had a feeling that this is what it was meant to do. Yeah. Seaweed man! is going to attack the ship he's on. <laughs> that seems <laughs> foolish. <laughs> he came from the water. He wants to go back to the water. <laughs> All right, so that will be uh, 8, 18, 22. 13. Two, is that boat B? Yeah, 13. Yeah. That's boat D. 22. Is no, that, oh, no, that B. is B. I'm sorry. That's boat B. I'm All sorry. right, boat B is at one. Oopsie, that's the wrong direction. Okay. And then I have to spot in something, and yes. I think... What about the um, serpent? Oh, right, I forgot the serpent existed. <laughs> oh, God. I don't understand how this serpent actually works. Well, it has a speed of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does they just have to be four apart from each other? Or how does their middle... Yeah. Okay. They don't have their own movement, so they have to like stay a static distance. Yeah, we'll just have the head attack things. The head seems the strongest anyway. Well, oh, that's cool. So like, if the ship is there, it can put its head on the ship, and the mid can be on the side. Yeah, that's really cool. That is so that cool. Is really cool. All right, uh, really we're cool. the head killing... can even go into the galley. killing Big Jeb. Come on, Big Jeb. All right, uh, that's 39. 
Ram a harpoon yeah. down its oh, throat. Big Jeb's got this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Is it adjacent? Sorry. It's on no, same it's space. No, it's on you. Same space. Same space? Oh, sweet. So I have the um, the revolver, which is 12. Yeah, okay. So 12 plus... I'm going to spend a will live. <laughs> uh, so 15 for what? 39. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to pull a kill card. card. <laughs> what are we looking for? Uh, stabby knife punch or hammer? Fist. Stabby punchy. The knife or hammer? Or hand fist. That's a fist. That's, fist. that's, that's a, a fist. fist. I don't think that's what actually you how you think? died, but that's a fist. <laughs> the only the monkey first one was the only apt one. Oh, monkey Paul. No, Chum was apt, and uh, oh, the one Chum before was that. apt. That's true. Exquisite, exquisite corpse. corpse. I mean, I feel like exquisite corpse could apply to any of these. Yeah, um, Scott. I know. I'm just being lazy. Um, all right, and then but thank you. I appreciate it. it is time to spawn something in, right? Yes, you have not yeah, done that yet. On four, where the fuck is four? Down here at the bottom. Well, that's fine because it's not actually going to spawn there. What is it? It's a great crab. A great crab. The reveal climbs on, placed on the edge of the ship or adjacent to a boat. We have to hit its weak point for massive damage. That's also why it had to be adjacent to a boat is because of that lat wording. Yeah. But I guess... I mean, again, that's just... where it spawns. That's not where, like, it does everything in the game. That's just... I'm going to move it there and hit the ship. Yep. Hit the boat. Erzad, this is not a killing monsters game. This is a survival game. <laughs> the goal isn't to kill these things. All right, that boat is done. I mean... Yeah, that, that we never good. we never did do a coordinated attack, right? We probably could have. We 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 probably could have done some damage on something if we coordinated right. But we had it. Look how close we were to out racing. We are we're we're literally. Oh, you're All quiet right. again, Badger. I think that's the best I can do. Okay, I mean we we're we're well, definitely boned, so we could just call it if we wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I need to yep. kill that kraken. You need to kill that kraken. You want to try for it? <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be almost impossible to actually kill. No, let me have that adrenaline. I can do it. Have your adrenaline. You can go for it. <laughs> it's all yours, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. It's never going to happen. Watch. We're going to get a six here. Hey, <laughs> look at you. <laughs> Roll, Lily. Well, OK, you're attacking the tentacle. Yeah. Yeah, with. I rolled a two. Um, uh, seven plus seven, 14 plus five, 19, 31. I see. I'm going to uh, use a will to, li will to kill to reroll my die. Just roll into a one. Yeah. All right. Now that's fine. So that's only 16. So you 31. Yep. So 15 damage. 15 damage. All right. I, I think you act. You don't kill the kill Kraken. But you lower the Kraken pretty bad. The tentacles go down to zero. I'll take it. You could say I did nothing all game trying to. I, I'm sorry for being so quiet. I could not grasp this game at first. I was sitting here trying to put my head around it. It's okay. It's it's a doozy. It was just also one of those. Where there was just so much talking to that. Like I couldn't. No, I it's feel fine. like I could get it's. Yeah, totally understandable. I only knew what I was doing because I had my own turn to think about it. <laughs> All right. We were well, so close. We were very we close. Were so close. Yeah, we were very I, close. There's no way I we very can quickly realized that though. I needed to sink the ship. Yes. Yes. Because the wind, the hurricane was not blowing in my favor. Yeah, the yeah, wind was really yeah. good for us with that. Yeah, that's the only reason we got that close is because the wind just cooperated very well. Yeah. So close. So close. <laughs> Just one space east. But hey, that was cool. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Definitely fun. <laughs> I enjoyed good. it a lot. <laughs> very good, he said unconvincingly. <laughs> no, I think... <laughs> the hurricane pushed us, but it also pushed the water. 
over. It the did. Decks That's true. Into the galley. <laughs> we never really recovered from that. That was a big part of the sinking. That's true. It definitely helped me sink, y'all. Well, if we had if we had stayed there and tried to take and tried to bail, we wouldn't have gotten this close either because yeah. we also pulled true. those guys up to get. But I mean, like if if we didn't get the two water the from only, the hurricane, yeah, we would have had an extra you turn with the boat. You only pulled those guys up because um, I killed other people, though. True. Right, and yeah, we yeah, and we were just at that we point casually we making a run for it. Given, right, they're not going to not happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, it's late, but thanks for playing, y'all. Yeah, it was fun. Yep. Uh, yeah, and thanks people for watching. That was Sea Evil or something close to it. Uh, I don't know how many rules we messed up, but there's probably more than a few. Uh, I think we got close to the spirit of the game, though. But, yeah. I should probably post a link like a good person. I always forget to do that. And like an idiot, I closed the link I had up for this. Hold on. This is the best outro ever. <laughs> Really smooth. Really smooth. It's late. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> All right. There's a link. <laughs> There's a, there was no hope of swimming. We could move one hex per turn. There were going to be no boats after this round because Lily was going to kill it. She was also going to kill us because there's no way we were going to survive all of these monsters. There was There was no hope of swimming. Once it sank, it was over. Yeah, yeah, as far as I could tell in the rule book, if you don't have a boat, you can't actually make it to the lighthouse. I thought, I thought there was a way, but I couldn't find it, and I was looking for a while. But if we had more people near the boats when the boats went, yeah, when the ship went down, then we would have yeah. had a chance. Maybe. Yeah. I think I kind With of focused on forward. Yeah. I think I kind of focused on killing everybody close to the boats to kind of avoid that. Scenario. Which was right. But yeah, like if we'd had. Just a few people near the boats. I think we could have we could have done it, but yeah. Anyway, thanks uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for playing, everyone. Uh, happy Halloween. We'll see you next time. Have a great night.